Hi guys! Hello, hello. Every time I go live on YouTube, I feel like <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm always like <laughs> organizing OBS and all the streaming software and I'm not a professional at that by any means and I'm always just hoping you guys can see me. But yeah, yeah, I can see that you guys can see me. This is good. This is good. Hey, Denzel. Hey, Kim. What's up, guys? Um, kind of a last minute stream because I got to just work on some stuff and I'm like, okay, I can hang out with you guys while I do this. Um, how's everybody doing? What time is it where you guys are at? Um, where are you guys at? And yeah, let me know. I'm also going to go live on TikTok. We'll see how it goes because I feel like they won't be able to hear like the track. <laughs> so they might have an issue with that. They'll probably have an issue with that, but maybe we can invite them to be here with us. Hi, Xavier. How's it going? Um... Let's try that. I, just, I don't know. Sometimes TikTok is a little bit like, I don't know. I feel like people are more negative on here than on YouTube. Like YouTube audience is so like much nicer. Um, but I'll do it anyway. Mm, producing K-pop. Let's just call it that. <laughs> he hee. So how's everybody doing? What's new? What's new with you guys? What are you guys all working on? on uh, as far as music all right kim you're in spain i didn't know you were in spain that's so cool um uh, haven't been in spain since i want to say 2002 i i was like a kid last time i was in spain it was so beautiful though all i remember about spain is i was traveling with this like group i was singing with which were all young little girls and um they, they had lots of rules for us and the rules were like, don't go swimming in the ocean. Like, don't eat ice cream. You have to preserve your voice because we were performing and singing all the time. And it was one of those things where we were like, well, we want to eat ice cream. We want to go swimming in the ocean. So I remember I organized at like one or two in the morning a bunch of girls to basically go down to the beach in Spain. It was really, really fun. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> so hi, TikTok. I am live on YouTube right now if you guys want to join there because you will be able to see me producing and like my screen and everything um, Xavier says I finally started therapy on Tuesday. Yes to therapy Therapy's helped me so much guys therapy is the reason I started being an artist again because I started working with my therapist Jen like two years ago and the first thing I said was like I don't know I'm just kind of like not fulfilled in my life all I ever do is just like write songs and you know, it's, some of them do well, some of them don't, but like, it just feels kind of empty. And she was like, well, what about releasing your own music? And I was like, oh, I don't do that. I did that when I was younger. I don't do that now. And you know, look at me now. I'm doing it. <laughs> Danzel says a lot of K-pop projects. Yay. Kim says I'm writing my first solo song. Yes. Yes. Um, Kevin says I finally catch your stream. What's up, Kevin? It's good to see you. Um, if you wanted to write, Harrison is asking, if you wanted to write a song, um, top line wise, as quickly as possible, what would be the minimum production you think one would need? That's a really good question. Listen, it depends on the genre of the song. Like when I write more like Western US pop, I can literally just pick up a guitar or write and write or like play piano and write and then just record it on a voice note on my phone. But um, when it comes to K-pop, Mm, it's good to have a track. I mean, if you're just a top liner, I suggest having a fully done track from somebody because if you don't have that, um, it makes it really, really difficult. Like if it's kind of half baked, you won't hear as many melodies on top of it. Usually that's my experience and other people's experiences that I've worked with. For me, it's a little different because I do both. I top line and I produce. So I can start with something half baked because I know I can in the process at the same time produce it and write it. So yeah, it is different. <laughs> uh, Daniel says, I saw you on UAD's live stream. It was so cool. Oh, thank you so much. That was a really fun stream. And it was very stressful because the power in all of the Universal Audio's building like went out during our stream and it was out for like 20 minutes. And we were so stressed. We were like, how are we not going to be able to do this? And they were like renting out a space. So they couldn't do it in my studio because my internet was too slow for like the kind of stream that was. So, um, we were like, they were renting out a place. Like it was really, really stressful. So yeah. Hey guys on TikTok too. Um, I am, I am on uh, YouTube right now and we have more of like a hang on YouTube right now, but, um, 
I see you all here as well. <laughs> uh, Mayo, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, says, I'm currently working on some K-pop demos, but I always get stuck with verses. So any tips that could help? Well, there's so many different types of K-pop, so it just depends, right, um, on like what you're writing. I would say just general tips for verses, make them different than the chorus, and I'm talking rhythm and melody, like, I don't know, I'm just riffing off the top of my head, making stuff up, but if your chorus is like, right, like if it's doing that, you probably don't want your voice to, verse to be like, because it's too similar, you can start lower, like, like something there, or it could be rap, just make it different, make it dynamic. Dean, are you producing any new songs? Like, like 10 every week. Like, too many. Too many. I'm greedy. <laughs> I want the bag. So I take on everything and then I suffer. <laughs> um, hey from Atlanta. Hey, Amber. What's up? Okay, so I'm going to start working for YouTube. You guys see already my session pulled up for TikTok. Join on YouTube, Liar Music Group, because you'll see the... You'll see like exactly what I'm working on and hear everything like streamed directly from my computer. Um, so this song is called Ooh La La. It's pretty much kind of done. What I'm going to do is just improve it. Um, it's written by me, my friend Giselle, and my friend Ellie. Follow them both. Giselle Aceville and Ellie Moore. Um, da -da 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 -da. So yeah, somebody's asking, I just joined, do you have someone in mind you want to write this for? I already have this written. I'm basically just finishing this. Um, yes, I can't say who because I don't really know if this person is picking it up because I've already sent like part of the song to their record label and they liked it, but I don't know what's going on with the project. So I'm just finishing it and sending it to like whoever at this point. And if they want it, they want it. Like, <laughs> you listen, this is a democracy. You can't hold songs like for too long. Uh, and they didn't like put in an official hold on this. So it's fine. But anyway, um, I'll play it. I'll, pl I'll put it on really quietly on the speakers for TikTok so you guys can hear it. But mostly the good quality will be on YouTube. You make me 
and this part I haven't done anything and yet we just wrote this last night so it's just like one chord <laughs> get it and it repeats the chorus uh you guys are all saying red velvet it sounds yeah you know um some people are saying like it sounds like ariana grande and places well that makes sense <laughs> so i have a very airy voice some of this is ellie it's almost like a duet between ellie and me <laughs> all the like very pointy vocal parts are ellie and all the like <sighs> are me <laughs> so okay well obviously the bridge has nothing like the bridge is giving nothing instrumentally right now so we need to need to add stuff to it because it was like nine last night and i was literally so tired <laughs> uh, and i didn't feel like working on it but um i hope this is okay also for you guys on youtube because i put a speakers on kind of low for tiktok people but so they can hear a little bit um okay so the chorus i think needs the most work instrumentally right now um vocals there's a lot of vocals you guys can see it's like stacks upon stacks upon stacks honey but instrumentally i think there could be some stuff added i do it's always a challenge i always want to hear everything on the speakers especially the kick and the and the bass without that Ooh, it's hard it's hard but we will do our best i mostly just want to fill out the instrumental i feel like it's good it's a good idea it just needs like a few finishing touches to make it like, pop let me just listen without vocals actually Okay, all right, so I always first start just looking at the kick, looking at the snare. This is gonna be your song or K-pop, definitely K-pop. Um, my own stuff currently as an artist, it's funny, it's like not that K-pop at all. It's very like, I don't know, it's just what I feel. It's my feelings and songs. That's pretty much what I could say about my own artist stuff. Um, but I do love producing writing K-pop because I get to like flex my production muscles. Just increasing a little bit of transient shaping on the kick. This needs to be done on speakers. I always do this in headphones and I'm like, what am I doing? Like this, yeah, eh, possibly. It's okay, it's possibly okay. As you guys want to see, like I drive my master so hard on demos. I just don't care for clips. Somebody asked me the other day, was like, what do I do when like, I want my kick and my bass to like really hit hard, but like they're clipping the master bus and I was like, let it. <laughs> if it's a demo, let it. If it's not a demo, turn all the tracks down and start from like a much lower volume and then increase your kick and your bass until they have a space that they occupy that works. But for demos, like, I don't give a shit, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, as long as it doesn't sound like clippy and gross, I'm like, fine. Okay, so right there already that thing needs a little less in the mids. I'm just, I don't have a plan right now. I'm just kind of going around. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Was it supposed to not have hardly any verb on it though? Interesting. It sounds like it should be a little more verby. Oh, she's pretty. Okay. Okay, so the snare also. The snare has this like vintage kind of quality to it. It's like, I almost want to hear a little more cut in the snare. So transient shaping, guys. Hey Felix, what's up you guys? How's everybody feeling? I, you know, I can't say I'm feeling that great, but I, I just have two words for that. I'm Russian. <laughs> I can't be feeling great right now, we all. I cannot. You know, even though I haven't, I've lived in the U.S. longer than Russia. It's just very, very sad. It's very sad all around. It's a sad time. If you can do anything to help donate Ukraine, please do. If you can't, send good energy. 
Okay, a little less mids, yeah, I think. So it's kind of hoofy, the snare. You know, another thing I might do real quick. I might go ahead and just sometimes I just transpose them up by one and that makes the snare and the kick like pop through the mix better. I mean, honestly, same on this guy. Wait, is this? It almost sounds like I have two of the same. That's what it sounds like. Really? Oh, no, they're not. Wait. That's really strange. It sounds so similar. No, yeah, they're different. Interesting, though. Interesting. Let's see. I think we should have some tambourine hits coming in and out because it needs to be, like, brighter, cuter, I think. Um, yeah, this is one of those stages where... I just nitpick. I, I want the production to be like mwah, tip top, tip top. Because if it's not, it's not getting cut. Guys, <laughs> if it's not getting cut, I don't eat and my family doesn't eat. So <laughs> it's got to get cut. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tough out there for musicians. Um, okay, that's a good little jangly tambourine. It's a good one. What group would you aim to give this song to if you had the choice? <laughs> Red Velvet. I love Red Velvet. Originally, it was written for solo artists, but, you know, I just, I don't, like, really aim it for groups or artists unless I'm working directly with a label um, and they're, like, telling me what they want. If I'm just creating something that I think is cool, which is actually how I've gotten the majority of my cuts, they weren't tailor-made for anybody they were just things I thought were cool and my collaborators like we thought were cool and we created so a lot of the times I don't like I talk about k-pop briefs all the time I don't look at them that much to be honest it's a great way to get started but for me I like to think I know k-pop and I'm constantly learning more about it and I also like to think that I know what I like and have good taste and so far that's proven to be correct <laughs> so I just trust myself on like what you know my collaborators of course like if some somebody sends me something and I'm like I just love this I don't go like oh like but who is it for I'm more like oh this sounds like it could be itsy it could be like Espa, it could be uh mix like anything so and I just I'm like it's cool somebody will want it and that's usually how it works thank you so much for the rose cabbage patch hoochie yes cabbage ca cabbage hoochie I like it I like it Picasso <laughs> Kevin says, I've had grown fucking woman in my head all day and keep singing it even as a cis male. Yes. You know what? We love that though. Like this is not a song to exclude anybody. Like if you're a male and you want to sing about being a grown fucking woman, please do. Like what's preventing you from doing that? Do that. Like honestly, I always think like it should just be less gender norms. Like what I would love to see is guys that aren't LGBTQ wearing makeup. Like I just want to see men in makeup. Like y'all would look so pretty. <laughs> like, please wear makeup. Like there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing emasculating about it, you know? And you could experiment with your look and like have fun with it. <laughs> like, and be easy on the eyes of everybody that appreciates good looking men. Listen, <laughs> like it's true, it's true. <laughs> How did I get into K-pop production? Man, it's a long, it's been a long time. I've been in and out of it a little bit, um, just for like reasons that have nothing to do with really like K-pop or anything, just like my own personal life. But right now I'm having a good run in K-pop. So it's like majority of what I work on. I pretty much just work on K-pop. I work on my own artist project and I work on Ellie Moore's. And then like a few other artists that I work with that are here, American. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Like I don't take like pitch sessions for Western right now. It's just really challenging to get Western cuts right now, unless you're writing with artists. And my focus is just so deep in K-pop that like it would be hard to just like find time for all of that, even though I would enjoy all of it. But Alina, men in makeup have too much power. <laughs> Men in makeup would have a lot of power. Listen, it's true. It's true. If I saw cute guys everywhere wearing makeup and like strutting and being like real about it and, you know, not caring about toxic masculinity or anything, I'd be like, ooh, like, get me away from them. I'm married. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but no, seriously, like self-expression with makeup can be so cool. 
Okay, so this one I want to be a bit wider. I feel like I'm being like kind of boring right now. I'm just chatting and like not even explaining what I'm doing. <laughs> I do this a lot, guys. I apologize. If you have questions, just like tell me because I'm just doing like half the things I do now. It's like literal autopilot at this point. <laughs> Um, especially like certain like EQ moves and stuff, but I'm really trying to think of what I can add in here to make it more powerful. Maybe just more drum stuff. Yeah, you know what? Yes, because right now I just have this one hat, I think. Yeah, I have two hats and that's it. It's very like minimal and I don't want this to be minimal. Yeah, I see how minimal this sounds without these two little hats. And, oh, this is cute. It's like a little percussion thing. Well, this hat already, I hear things that need to happen with it. But then I think we need layering too. We need to brighten it up. It sits too like dull in the mix, I think. Like we need it to be up there in the upper register, like crackling and hitting and doing its hat thing. <laughs> Have you ever sent demos or something to BTS? I actually have not. Um, I'm very re like recently starting to write for males. Um, I've only had one male K-pop cut like four or five years ago with this group called Reigns. It was very cute, I really liked it. But um, mostly because I'm a female, everybody I work with is pretty much female. Like I, I, work, I work with some guys now, but um, like by default, liars just always work mostly with women and like, um, LGBTQ men uh, and non-binary people. So um, like not, we just, we, we've been like 80% girls. <laughs> so very recently I started more working with more male top liners cause you need like a male vocal to sell it. Those demos, you can't just be like a girl singing. I mean, you could, that's happened, but it's harder. And like the music industry is already hard. <laughs> I don't want to give myself more challenges, but I have been writing for more males. I'm really excited about it. And hopefully I'll have a male cut sometime. Cause that would be really, really, really fun. I love my girls, but just for like variety too. Um, just because I find myself writing a lot of the same kind of song, like either this type of song that's really like, ooh, I'm pretty, like, cause I can sing it like very easily and write it really easily, or like, eh, 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 like very hardcore girl crush. <laughs> so it's always nice to do something a little bit different, um, f you know, for a different type of K-pop artists and males are definitely like their own thing. Um, Alina, question, do you use Discord? If so, do you have your own private server? So, um, I actually had somebody who is, um, a subscriber reach out about creating a Discord server and we're in the process of that now. I will be honest with you guys, like, um, I am probably going to be like popping into it and like giving challenges and just like saying hi. But I'm like the one time I used Discord, I was literally like feeling like an 80 year old. I could not understand I could not discord. <laughs> so I'm really glad I'm getting help. Okay, why is this place like dead? Uh, I'm really glad I'm getting help with it. Okay, okay, there we go. Oh, it changed, I want the old design. I hate this new design of Splice, I'm sorry. Like, I just, I can't, I can't handle it. But yeah, we will have a discord and I want all of you guys from TikTok and from YouTube if you're a musician, if you're a writer, if you're a producer and you want to meet people and hang out and like create good vibes and collaborate, that's what it will be for. It will just be like for you guys to meet each other and have a good time. Cause I think like I'm, you know, we're a small community, but I'm really proud of it because I don't know, like most of you guys are really smart and really talented and really dope. <laughs> so I want you guys to meet each other. Um, Stomps are high in texture on the kick. That's a good idea, Kevin. Do you like Swedish pop? Uh, Shy Martin, yeah, definitely. No, I do. I don't listen to it very much, but the things I've heard from Sweden are always like incredible. <laughs> Sweden can write songs and have been able to write songs like for a very long time. You guys are, I don't know, actually know if you're Swedish, but anybody Swedish, you guys are like really talented at music just by default. Um... Okay, why is this giving spinning wheel? Stop it! <laughs> so annoying. 
Okay, I want, okay, I really want to clean up these hats. I'm not, like, loving. I want it to be very, like, like, really distinct right now. Kind of messy. Uh, kind of messy. It's almost actually there. Yeah, okay. Um... And maybe on the fourth time around, I could just be like, tuk -a -tuk -a -tuk -a -tuk -a -tuk like one of those. Um, uh, hold on, I need a clicky click. And then, yeah, we'll do like, grr, 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 like 30 second note kind of vibes. Uh, no, it actually has to be in the 64th, which is so irritating that Ableton doesn't have a 64th note grid. Guys, please fix. <laughs> please fix. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Can't wait for the d Discord. Uh, Venus, XVV. I know, I think it will be fun, you guys. I think it will be fun. I will try to like get better at Discording too. I think, I mean, I've had this TikTok for about a year and I literally started using it myself sort of like in in August and I actually figured out how to make videos on it like a few months ago because I've had an assistant like edit ones that I would just like shoot on my phone and send her because <laughs> I just could not understand the user interface and now I think I've gotten a lot better at it I like actually get TikTok it took me about a year so it might it might be a process with discord but it will happen yeah tra -tra -tra -tra. I want this to be like transposed Oh, we are having some latency, my guys. Um, definitely streaming while doing this is like a challenge. It's a challenge, guys. <laughs> uh, when I first started producing K-pop, how did I get in contact with labels? Man, I get this question a lot, and I wish there was like an easy answer. Like, call this number, meet, and you meet labels. It's not like that. It's always like through the industry and nobody wants to hear from you when you're starting out, like, no, at all. <laughs> so in my case, I just like reached out to people to collaborate that were already writing K-pop. And I already had like a publishing deal too. It's like, I wasn't like completely start. I like, I've already kind of been doing this for 10 years at the, at the point that I started like really doing K-pop. So I had something to offer. It wasn't that I was a total beginner. If you're a total beginner, man, you need either like collaborate or friends that you can just figure stuff out with together, or you need a mentor. Um, I don't know if there's any other way to go. I wouldn't hit up industry people when you're just starting out because they do not want to hear from you. Y'all, they don't want to hear from me. <laughs> they do, it's not certain ones, but like, unless you're like very, 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 very successful, like they don't, they're busy, you know? Andy says, uh, Andre, excuse me, this Discord thing sounds cool. I think it will be cool. I think it will be fun. I just like, one of the reasons I even do like streaming and stuff and it's just cause it's really fun to be honest. <laughs> like a lot of producers, for those of you guys that are producers that are wondering if you need to do this, you don't at all. Like you can be 100% like behind the scenes industry, like producer, you do not need to just like be doing this. I do this because I want to. It's just like a fun time for me to hang out with people, meet other writers, producers. Ooh, wait. I love that. Having like a ding. Oh, that's so appropriate for the song. Hold on. Let me put on the vocals real quick. Real quick. You make me want to dance. You know, and then ooh la 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 ding. That might be really cute, actually. Ding. Oh, I'm gonna do that. I'm totally gonna do that. The little ding was just like inspiring to me. Um, there you go. There she is. Dingy, dingy, ding. Uh, hmm. Oh, I love it. Let's just put it in the right spot. Cute. So cute. It almost makes me think of like the. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for the roses. Oil Hanley, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, do you mix your songs or send it to another place? I mix my songs. I do. You sort of have to as a producer, you guys. It's mm, 
the more steps you can skip and just do it yourself, the better it is. Sometimes with collaborators mix, like if I'm co-producing, which I'm co-producing like everything right now, honestly, just because I want more songs. I can solely produce, but I want to be on more songs. I want to be on like a hundred songs this year, which is same as what I did last year. Because if you do 100, even if you just get 10% cut, that's 10 cuts, you know? I definitely think I can do better than that. But um, the key is numbers, but also quality, right? And if you're doing everything yourself and you're always rushing, that's not good. So that's why I like to collaborate. But yeah, if somebody can mix really well and I'm doing some of the other parts, like top lining and some track, I, I'll definitely ask them to. But if I'm like... It's just me and a top liner or something. Yeah, I can definitely mix more than capable. Definitely, I have like different though approaches to demo mixing than record mixing. It takes me a long time to mix records because I like know that it's the final and it's gonna come out like that. When it's a demo, I, I use a lot of shortcuts. It's like a lot of broad strokes as opposed to like minute type detail stuff. Mmm, Rick says, kiss me more SZA verse energy. I love that song. I love that song. Yeah, it definitely has that like girly, like cute vibes. Still building that texture up top with the precaution. It's really, yeah, that helps. That do 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 da is so cute. I just, I don't know what it actually contributes to the chorus. Sometimes I have tracks in that are just like, this doesn't do much, but I don't feel like taking it out. This, this is real. <laughs> you know what I do want to do? I want to double up that da -da 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 with something else just to really emphasize it. So subtle. It's way too subtle, I think. Maybe a tambourine, actually. What am I doing? Let's do a tambourine. Let's do a tambourine. Instead of tops, we'll do a tambourine. Da -da -da. Also, yeah, for those of you guys that are on TikTok right now, if y'all want to head to my YouTube, which is just Liar Music Group, just like the same as on here, I am showing my screen and you can hear like way better quality. <laughs> Not just my speakers playing in the background. Just letting you guys know that that's an option, but if you want to also stay here and hang out, that's cool, of course. Um, da -da 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 -da. I wish I could like pin a comment. Can you pin a comment that says that? I don't know. I'm actually really bad at like streaming interfaces, especially for TikTok. I, I think I've only streamed on TikTok like twice before, so I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know how to do this. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, this, yeah, the tambourine is dope. Okay, big fan. Big fan, honey. Big fan. Do you usually get your demos mastered before you send them off? Nope. Ozone, right there. I have my favorite settings. I slap them on and it's done. It is done. You definitely do not need demos mastered. Listen, demos need to be great, but you do not need to be like paying money to for demo stuff like at all <laughs> because it's it's a crapshoot right like you don't know if it's gonna get cut even like for me or like other writers that have successes like we nothing is guaranteed we don't know if like even our really great freaking songs are gonna get cut because it depends on so much more than it being good like and i want you guys to remember that those that are writers and producers it's not how good it is it's how good it is and whether it fits their project uh, well, Hanley says stream moody. Thank you so much. Do stream moody, please. Because that's all I get is literally already done on Spotify. I love it how like Spotify supports my other releases with like other artists, but my own, nope. <laughs> no Tino shade. It's just the truth. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, it's hard to be an artist these days, especially like for somebody like me where I have like a full-time job doing this. <laughs> By the time it's like 9 p.m. and I could possibly like record a cover or something for TikTok, y'all, I'd be tired as shit. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'll be so tired and then knowing I have another session and another session after. Listen, it's not complaining. I love my job. But it's like when you want to do more than one thing, it's hard. I was talking to my friend about it yesterday. I was like, man, I wonder how it is for people that like are really successful at something like, you know, actors or something that maybe want to become a director. Like, how do they make these transitions? I know some do it quite, um, quite gracefully, but I wonder, I actually wonder whether it's challenging or I bet it is. I bet it actually is. Even if they're like a really well-known actor. Um, yeah. 
Band Lab also has free mastering, really, that might bring polishing vibe to a demo. Yo, that's a very great, I would love to check that out, actually. Um, if it's free, especially, like, for those that don't have Ozone or whatever, that might be really, really cool, you guys. Um... Lewis says, yeah, sound quality is so much better here. Yeah, because I have my speakers like super low because I don't want it to mess with the YouTube sound. But if I don't have them on, then nobody on TikTok will hear. I wish there's like a way to feed both into like both platforms, but that sounds really challenging. That sounds beyond my technical levels. <laughs> Do you recommend learning more music theory to help better create a song? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I will never be like somebody who's like, you must know music theory. Like, you don't have to. I'll just say that it really helps. Like, especially like something like this that has a lot of pretty advanced chord changes and stuff like that. It's very hard to pull this off if you just fully don't understand music theory. Even having basic knowledge would really take you far. Kim says, I have a question. How do you get the ideas at the time of writing a song? I mean, my brain works so slow. Oh, when I want to write a song, you need to know how to get inspiration. Oh, that's a really good question. You know, it's hard for me to answer because like, this is my job, right? So I'm constantly just in that idea generation mode. There really isn't like a challenge for me when it comes to that. And plus I work with so many collaborators. They send me ideas. Like it's, I just don't experience this. I do think like, I remember being in Nashville though, when I was just writing country and I was often quite uninspired and I would look at other people's songs, maybe like just, I would, I would try to use tricks, right? Where I was just like, I'm not inspired. I don't know what to do. I would look at lyrics um, and look at not title lyrics, but like actual internal lyrics of a song and see if there's title ideas in there that I could be inspired by. Like, I don't know if it's like a, I don't know, shake it off by Taylor Swift or something. I would like look at the lyric and be like, uh, she's like, Oh my God. And maybe I would write a song called, Oh my God, you know, something like that. I know this is not like really solving your problem, but things like that, reading poetry can help. Honestly, going out, living life, getting your heart broken, experiencing pain, like not, you know, not trying to perpetuate that toxic, like artists suffering for their art thing, but experiencing joy also, just experiencing life, you know. I work with a, quite a few young artists that are like teenagers, and this, I also see this a lot, just like they're trying to be inspired, but they just haven't lived that much life. They don't have much to say yet, like... Me being 30, and I, I'm the same. Like when I was young, I was like, I don't know what to write about. I'm like happy and married and my husband's really great. And now I'm like, I've experienced like so much trauma in my life and pain. I'm like, you want a song, you got a song. <laughs> like, I got you. But, you know, also like don't traumatize yourself for your art. I don't like that. I don't, I don't support that. Could you make a video showing how to make a song like twice? Yes, I have. I have some on my YouTube, actually. There's one where I'm like recreating Scientist, if you want to go look at that. Okay, let's see if this tambourine works. That works. That works better than... Yeah, it, it just adds energy. I mean... A lot of K-pop just has really like highly developed trans... Uh, drum sections so and everything's I you guys see me pull up transit designer like a thousand times and I don't really explain it I just like, I increase the attack of everything drum wise like so much attack and so little sustain like I just want everything to hit really hard I'm glad that helped Kim I'm glad that helped a little bit yeah it's definitely like it's one of those things I'm experiencing now because I feel like my success has come like really late in life. Like it's it's ridiculous that being in your thirties is considered late in life. Like I could I could I could drop a um, TED talk on that at any moment of my life. But it's you know because it's been such a slow burn, burn for me for like basically like a decade and a half, almost two de decades. It's definitely interesting like looking back and realizing oh I've forgotten like certain challenges that come in the beginning like you know, just knowing how to get inspired. So I try to remember, you know, I try not to forget these things. But it has been a long time, <laughs> I will be honest with you. These could go up a little bit. Okay, I think also effect-wise, there could be more. Um, oh, late, latency. I think 
also there could be more. There's only one pad. I let's see where this is sitting right now. And let's, why don't we grab this, do another octave of this with another pad instrument. I just want to fill this baby up. I want it to be nice and thick, big energy, big vibes, not chill. Zero chill, thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, probably up an octave, and okay, that one was very round. And what else do we have? Just check in. Okay, we nice got a nice plucky pluck. We got another pluck that's an arpeggiated one. We got a drone. Oh, I like this a lot, actually. I'm gonna pull this up in volume a little bit. Yeah, I think probably either either lower octave pad or higher octave pad. I don't know, we'll try. We will try. We will attempt these things. All right, so I was probably on D.Va, wasn't I? Yeah, this is like my favorite uh, instrument is D.Va. I just love it so much. And it's so good for like these slightly like 80s inspired vibes. Um, I always just use this one, um, Midnight. Like constantly, it's back. Let's see. This is all monophonic. I hate monophonic instruments, you guys. It's I'm like, why? Why not make everything polyphonic? Oh, that's cool. It's very, it's very 80s. But do we like, like that? Do I have tips for making good drums? Hmm. It's about like basically really approaching every element of the drum section with their own approach. I know that's like, that was a little like, what did she just say? Um, it's about basically treating the kick and the snare like king and queen, like very much making sure they're cutting through the mix, making sure they're really powerful, uh, making sure the low end on the kick is like great, right? Uh, and it's about getting the right rhythms with the upper percussion range, like hats, uh, tops, uh, tambourines, all of that stuff. I know all of that sounds like very academic. Like I can, I can make a video on drums if you guys want me to make a video on drums, because I think like doing it versus like talking about it, it's probably easier to understand okay so let's see okay i want to either go down octave or up an octave i like that i just probably need to take some of these like super lows out it's like lasery in a way i like it oh come on spinning wheel don't you dare I don't like love it actually at all. <laughs> Let's go up an octave instead. And then I also had another idea, which I'm gonna try out. I wanna cut up like a vocal to kind of hang at the top of the register, just like something like <laughs> something like that. Oh, you guys are thinking this is fire. How did you start the song? Was it a lyric or a beat? Um, it was a beat actually. And it was my friend Giselle. She came up with the hook, the ooh la 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 la. She came up with that. And uh, she sent me that plus like the track start. And then I was just like, oh, I'm running with this. This is really cool. She's a very talented girl. <laughs> okay, yeah. And I like the brightness of this. And it needs to be spread too, but let's hear it without that. Yes. It added so much. The only thing I want is I don't want it to get in the way of this thing. The da 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 da. Um, so, <laughs> so what do we do for that? Um, I can tremolate it so it has like a rhythm that doesn't get in the way of things. We'll see. That usually helps me. Have you made a video mixing mastering? You know I haven't, and I've been hesitant because even though like I've actually gotten good I think I'm mixing over the last year and a half it's probably the late like the last skill of mine that like actually got to a point where I'm like yeah it's it's what it needs to be mixing is so hard so I don't even think of myself as like great I just think of myself as competent so but also there's not a lot of good mixing information out there and a lot of it is very academic like in a way that doesn't give you the real shit it just gives you the how you should do it but sometimes how you should do it is not how anybody does it 
So I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I make one? I, I just feel like a little bit like, oh, I don't know if like, I'm not like Manny uh, Markin. I'm not Serban. Like, it's just like, what, what do I have contribute to contribute to mixing? But like basic level stuff I can for sure teach you guys. I just, I don't think of myself as a mixer, even though I am and I do mix a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I think of myself as definitely as like a writer producer that just like knows how to do that out of necessity. <laughs> Yeah, the tremolo helps so much. Oh my God, it helps a lot. Just also, I think it could be turned down. It just fills up that range, I think. Oh, you know, let's do some, let's do some pitch, uh, what not pitch, uh, filter movement on this. I just use EQ8 for this all the time. It's just like so simple on Ableton one. Um, this might mess with like the vibes a little bit. Um, let me turn this up really loud for now. So I just kind of like mostly hear this in my crunch. I apologize. Um, I just want, I want to like move this around a little bit. You know what I mean? Oh, I like this. And actually, I want to just copy this because this flips an octave and I don't like that it flips an octave. It like doesn't work in, con in the context of this pad. Um, da -da 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 -da. I loved Hollywood Heart. Thank you so much. That song means a lot to me and I feel like it's one of those that's like, it's not one of my hits. I haven't had a real hit as an artist. Let's be real about that. Uh, but uh, it's not one of the most popular ones I should say um because it's it's really catered to like artists like i don't know if people that are not like a, like a performer musician artist like of any kind like would even relate or know what it's talking about but i've had a lot of other artists be like oh wow that song like hurt me in a good way <laughs> and i'm like yeah like it just was really me expressing my feelings that's a lot of my music is just me being like yeah this is how i feel it's probably not relatable to a lot of people but like <laughs> it's the truth a mixing mastering video would be great. Okay, guys, I can make one. It just probably would be a little bit, like, simpler than my production stuff, which is, like, probably more advanced, I guess. But I can do it. I can do it. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, sweet. Sorry, you are sweet. Thank you. You're so, so cute. I don't know. It's one of those things, me being, like, kind of, like, older, I guess, I don't care so much about popularity. Like, I just care about, like, the songs that I make being heard by the people that are meant to hear them. You know what I mean? Like, in that spiritual way. Like, I just want to make a difference in the world. And especially right now, like, I feel very powerless. I'm sure a lot of you guys feel the same way. Like, there are bad things going on. And, like, especially for me being Russian, but, like, removed from Russia and, like, living in America for longer than Russia. Like, and not being in the Ukraine. Not being able to, like, I just feel powerless. So... I want my life to, like, be able to affect people positively, whether it's through music or some activism or, like, helping. I don't know. Like, <laughs> it's hard. It's hard when you're not, like, a politician or somebody that has, like, direct power. But I think if everybody thinks that way, if everybody's like, what can I contribute? How can I help? Like, what's my dharma? You know, like, my pur purpose. Um, maybe the word world would be a better place. <laughs> you guys are so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Kevin says the second chorus in Hollywood Heart sends me the doubles and uh, heal my so great. Oh my God, thank you. I don't even remember what I did, but appreciate like the fact that you know that. Thank you so much. Thank you for like listening to my work in so much detail. I, <laughs> that makes me feel really good. But yeah, because it's honestly like our industry, like I keep it really guys. It's hard for all of us. It's hard on every level and I'm not even like where I want to be. I'm, I'm having success. I don't want to shit on that. It's, it would be wrong. But <laughs> it's there's challenges on every level, you guys. Unfortunately, you think you're going to like make it and be happy and successful and not always, not always. There's things that come up and make you feel really small, <laughs> regardless of how successful you are. Am I doing this on Twitch? I'm on YouTube. Doll, um, Dolls My Cloud, if you want to join. It's just Liar Music Group. And you can see, like, my screen and everything. Um, okay. I'm so distracted, like, chatting with you guys. <laughs> like, on, I, autopilot producing. 
Okay, I do be... I do be liking the tremolo vibes. Ah, shut up. <laughs> shut up, computer. <laughs> shut up. It's a little loud, though. I'm just gonna... Like, it's quite a bit loud, actually. Yeah. Okay, that's, that adds a lot to me. Now what I want to do... Okay, so this thing is really good. It's like melodic and the this thing. I want more verb on it. It's like, I guess on its own, it doesn't matter what sounds like. On sounds, on sounds a little ugly, but I still want it to like, just be a little like prettier, sparklier is what I guess I'm thinking too. Uh, okay, there you go. Let's see. Yeah, and then a little more top end here. Actually, no, I'm gonna use the UAD thing. Yeah, for some reason, like, we are struggling today. We are struggling CPU-wise today. And, oh, you know what I should do? I should print the autotune on some of the vocal tracks. That's what's causing this, I bet, because there's so many vocals. I guarantee you. I'm going to do that next. Uh, but I'll increase the brightness with this plugin, which I love. Thank you, Universal Audio, for not sponsored stream, but they've, like, given me a lot of their plugins, which, like, thank you so much. I think they're freaking incredible. <laughs> Oh, I like that. That's done a lot for me. But yeah, I'm going to quickly just freeze some vocals, TBH, because mm, I'm also going to delete some of these like old tuner tracks. Um, your hair looks like Ariana, but longer. I love the purple. Thank you. It's a clip-in. It's totally a clip-in ponytail. My real hair is just brown. It's very long, and it's pretty much virgin hair at this point. Like, I don't dye it. And my friends are always like, do something with your hair. Cut it. Dye it. <laughs> Make it short and blonde. Like, people are always, like, egging me on. And I just love having healthy, long hair that, like, nothing's ever been done to. Like, well, recently. Uh, so I've been playing with these, like clip-ins and all these fun things like I would love to do wigs but I think applying like lace fronts is low-key really hard from what I've seen I watch a lot of drag queens and I'm like this looks hard this looks like you're actually really really hard <laughs> what does printing autotune mean basically I'm freezing the arrangement right uh, for those on YouTube that can see this um it's basically making these act as if they're like the zip the effects are like already in the wave. Am I explaining this correctly? Like it doesn't have to process these effects. It's like prints the processing. So it decreases the CPU, which is unusually high because the song does not have that many stems. I think it's the fact that I'm streaming and the fact that also there's just so many vocals. So once I do this, this will like free up some room for us to breathe because you can see how jerky this is right now. It's like not... It's not cute. <laughs> it's not cute. Um, see, like, all these BGVs. It's just a lot. So, freeze. Freeze! <laughs> I'm sorry if you already talked about this, but how did you decide to get started in this career? Oh, man. It's like this crazy career chose me. I didn't really, like, choose it. Like, I've just been a singer since I was, like, five. I was in this, like, kids group that toured all over Europe. I'm Russian. I was born there. And we toured all around. We went to France, Italy, Germany, Poland, like, all these different places. And I was really little. And from that point on, I just... It's, it's really great to travel when you're a kid. I don't remember a lot of things, but what it does, it, like, expands your mind. And I just saw other people, other ways of life. And I was just like, oh... I want more than just to like stay in Russia and do what everybody else is doing around me. So um, I kind of just knew that I wanted, I, I wanted to be an artist. I always sang. I always wrote. I wrote books. My first like fan fish, fiction book I wrote, I was 13. And I actually wrote like a real book, um, which I finished last year, which I've been trying to pitch around to agents. And by trying to, um, I did it in the summer and the fall. And then I got so insanely busy with music that I haven't been continuing to, which I need to do. And I need to like free up some space for that. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I never considered like, oh, I should like be... A doctor or somebody that makes steady money like maybe that's dumb but it never really occurred to me to do that I was always just like oh I'm gonna be either singer or um a, a artist I paint too I never developed that well enough to do it professionally but like I'm decent for a hobby I think you know or or an author those are my three things and I figured I can be an author later in life which is like I 
I mean, I want to be an author now. I just like I'm one human. I can't do it all at the same time. Uh, but I can do it when I'm 60 or 70 or whenever, you know, um, same with painting. But I figured music is like such a youth driven thing. And it is. But I also like want to change that because I don't know. Do you guys know this? Um, older lady, she like plays guitar, she plays piano and she has a little chihuahua dog. I'm sure you guys have seen her. She's like very popular. I just smile every time I see her. She's probably what, like 70 something. And I just think it's like, mm, so beautiful to see this woman who just like, she just loves music and she sings and she plays songs. I like, it makes me really happy to see her. And obviously like I've had way too much Botox in my face. I do not look my age. <laughs> but I still want to represent for those that are, like, not teenagers or not in their 20s because we have things to say, right? Like, I think every every person of every age group, of every sex, of every orientation, of every skin color should have, and culture, should be able to have their say in world culture. And the fact that, like, a lot of people have been excluded and are continuously being excluded. It's just wrong. It's unfair. And I know it sounds childish to be like, it's unfair. But it's, I think that's the first step is to see something and be like, this really is unfair. And <laughs> that's just how I think, you know. I want people to have, people of all kinds of backgrounds to have their say in the world. Would you produce for Gabby again? I would. It's just she's very rock now, and it's, like, literally the only genre I don't, like, really do. Um, what career can you do at 11? Jesus, please don't start a career at 11. Like, you will have mental health issues. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I know people that have started this at 11 and have had record deals at 11. It's very hard. You have to work on your mental health, like, constantly as you get older. It's best to be a child and enjoy your life. And if you are really passionate about something, like, I was still at 11, like, really passionate about drawing and writing poetry and singing like just do it for love and then if it keeps going and you don't lose the passion and you get a little bit older that's when you can start pursuing it as a career I just just be careful you know what I mean and don't rush like I'm in my 30s I'm having success I'm doing doing well you know you don't have you don't have to do it at 16 like and there's so much propaganda about like this girl did it at 17 and this boy did it at 19 and da, 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 da. and that's good for them like young people deserve a seat at, at the table too and to have a say but don't think that's the only way because it ain't and sometimes certain people blossom later on and they mentally and like physically and emotionally are more ready when they're older and that's that's cool like don't rush Kevin's asking, is it a fiction novel? Yes, it is. It is. I, every time I see, like, my Word documents, just kind of, like, in the background of my computer, I'm like, oh, I want to write. I want to write so bad. And I have, like, no time right now. <laughs> okay, I froze all my vocals, guys. Um, this should run a lot better, I hope. No. There we go. Thank you very much. Also, I'm going to put the vocals on just to hear how it's sounding with all the things I added. Oh, la, la, la. You make me want to dance. Okay, what I want is I want the synth to move slightly left and right and not just sit at minus 13 or whatever, 13 left, whatever I had. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm -mm -mm. It's running a little bit better though, so that's that's good. That's making me happy. Not as fast to look at this. No, probably like bar and a half maybe and somewhere around here. Yeah. Yes. Drum back is starting to sound better. I love all these extra additions. It's sounding better. It's sounding better. Let me hear. What we need is something really up top, maybe even like a tension string. Mm, yeah, that might be good for like the top end of the spectrum. Let's see. Mm, probably 
probably not more melodic mo movement though because uh, there's already a lot going on i'm trying to make it big without making it like chaotic because it's not a like, chaotic type song it's kind of a little more traditional i guess structure wise which is cool um let me just look at some strings okay uh so there's some in omnisphere that would be cool warm strings let's put that in let's see how many songs do you make per day? Um, uh, it's I don't try to start more new things in a day, right? Like, I usually just prefer to work on one thing. But a lot of the times, it's like somebody's like, hey, can you pull up this thing and do this one tweak? And it takes me five minutes, and I do that. Or sometimes it's like, hey, we need stems. So I pull up that song, and I'm kind of working at it, but not really. Yeah, I try not to just, like work on too many things at once though especially k-pop because everything has to be so high level so high level like you can't get away with being mediocre uh-uh and it's easy to be mediocre for all of us it is it is you have to like fight mediocrity at all at all corners of creativity um what vst did you print that lead synth from danzel i could not tell you oof uh this one i started in like January so do not ask me anything because what happened in January is like 20 years ago for me <laughs> okay so we need this is good the pitch is good the chords are too crunchy we need just probably like honestly an octave or a fifth or something Like just simple, simple, simple. La 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 la. Na, na, da. Okay. I guess you don't, I'm not sure what it should do. Let me hear with everything. Oh. I think it might be a little bit too high. Let me drop it. And if I need to re lift it back up, I will. But right now. So. There you go. Oh, girl, no. Did I? I think it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be F sharp. Okay, I'm just gonna sing something and make that because it's annoying to me right now. <laughs> you guys know I have no patience. Oh. Da, da is what I want. Blah, blah. Nah. Da, da, da. So it's the D sharp to the C sharp. Nah. Da, A sharp. Nah. B sharp, B. Nah, nah. That's probably what I'm hearing. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go, better. Oh, it'd be cool to do like... Mm, there's, there's some rubs there for sure. Mm. I think going down here is better. No, I'm not loving this. No, 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 no. Maybe we just go da 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 or like increase the rhythm of it. Oh, excuse me. Ah. Mm -hmm. na, na. I don't know if that's too much melody though. I'm not sold. Sorry, that sounds so gross. I apologize. There you go. I love how like low the attack is on this that it's like comes in so late. Na, 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 na. I'm not sold on the notation. I need to hear it with the melody and a lot quieter too, like just to see how it feels with everything. You make me wanna dance. Yeah, 
yeah, this bar right here is a little... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Make me wanna sing. That's where we're landing with the vocal. Na na. Maybe it just needs to be where the vocal is. Na na. Na. Yeah. Na 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 na. I think it actually is supposed to be there. Ugh. No, it was it was the F sharp. Oh well, we tried. Let me crank it for a second. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think we just hang on the C sharp. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. It's just super quiet. I mean, loud now. Let me turn it way down so I also just hate like the attack on these things let me see let me see if I can just properly change the attack let's see it's, it's almost at zero like it's just string performance that's what it is that oh, it's better it's better it might pan a little bit too Sounds like a rocket punch kind of song. Hmm, interesting idea. I can see if my publisher could pitch it to them. Yeah, that's better. It's still really, really loud, this string, but it's doing like what I wanted to do, which is just fill up like the melodic end of the, what? <laughs> the high end of the melodic spectra, or you guys know what I'm saying, the EQ spectrum. Sometimes I try, you know, like you shoot really high with your words and then you're just like blah, 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 blah. That was me right now. <laughs> um, I just want to like really buzz up the, the top end though. Like just... Pretty. Oh, I should, I should match it right here. That would be nice, actually. What am I singing? <laughs> exactly, what is this? Kind of a bloody mess, but sounds good in the track. <laughs> uh, yes, I can hear Chiang making background vocals. I hope I, sp um, I said her name correctly. Yes. Um, let's see. Na, 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 I'm thinking da, 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 da. I think it's a harmony to what I'm singing. Blah, 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 blah. Da, da, da. Yeah. Cool. Have you ever produced for P Nation? No, I have not. Those area ad libs are so pretty. Thank you. This is kind of a signature. It's literally anything I produce, I'm always like, huh. <laughs> literally everything. It's very few songs I haven't done that in. Uh, <laughs> hold on. What was it supposed to be? Shoddy. Is G sharp okay? Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. What? Pretty, pretty, pretty. There we go. I think so. Let me just mute these for one second. Kind of gets lost in translation, doesn't it? I also think it comes in late because of again, like the strength performance. So I'm just gonna move it. Maybe even going up an octave on these. Oh, yeah, maybe, perhaps. Yeah, like a little bit more top end. A 
Okay, another thought I have, total switch of gears. I want to layer in some like really verby claps in the snare package here. Like I just want the snare to feel a little more epic. I like that it's dry, but I just want some hits to feel more epic. Have you done any songs for boy groups? So the only one I've had placed it was back in like 2017. It was called All Night Kinda Night. It was with a group called Reigns. I think it's a really good song if you guys wanna go look it up. But I'm actually actively working towards that. I don't expect to be announcing any boy group cuts for a few months at least because I really just started writing for boy stuff like four months ago, like less, like three months ago actually. Not because I didn't want to. I love K-pop boy bands. But uh, mostly just I'm not a male and you need like really good male vocalists that can do like really high level demos for that stuff. So and I've met some people recently that are awesome and I've been collaborating with them. So it kind of always hinged on that. Um, I'm excited, though, to see if any of these boy songs get cut. I There's a few that I'm like just don't get cut. I'd be surprised. But you never know. It's like we guess and a lot of times we guess intelligently as writers, but sometimes you don't know. Sometimes one of the things that always like freaks me out is I just like I'm kind of bad at just like guessing which ones will do well. Some of my favorite songs have been like wah, wah, wah. and some of the ones that I first was like eh, it's okay really really won't well, like doing well. So it's very interesting like how sometimes what you love as a writer and what works for the audience is not always the same thing. So don't don't ever get sad or discouraged if your favorites are not doing as well as you hoped because it's not up to you. <laughs> and this is me saying this to myself because I'm the one that gets sad. I'm the one that's always like, but I wanted that song to do well. <laughs> Oh, this is such a cute question. What does your husband have to say about your own music? Is he a fan? My husband is like the reason I can do this. Like I'm not, I would literally like, he supported me financially fully for 10 years as I was figuring this shit out. Like he's a motherfucking angel. <laughs> like the end, goodbye. He, we've been together for almost 18, is it 18 years? Yeah. Wait, how old am I? No, is it? No, it's already been 18 years. It's almost 19 years. Woo! But um, he's been unconditionally loving and supporting my entire life. Like, entire life. And I'm really lucky that I get to support him now as he's re retired from his job and pursuing his other dreams. Um... But yeah, he's such a fan. He's such a fan. He loves Moody. This is his, it's his favorite song right now. He's a very, very cute. Guys, find you a partner that supports you like that. What was my inspiration for this one? Which group I had in my... I can't really say because it was written kind of like for somebody with a request for a label. But I don't think they're taking it. It's been like a few months and I haven't heard anything. So... I'm just making it a cool song and gonna pitch it around and hopefully somebody wants it. Yeah, that's, I like that. I kind of want it to be brighter. Let me just transpose it. Like shimmery vibes, you know? Like pretty shimmery vibes. Yeah. Maybe every, every fourth one or every second one? What do you guys think? Oh, every second one. No, I miss it immediately, the big clap. Oh, it adds a lot, actually, quite a bit. Hey, I like that, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm hungry, guys. I'm like, I want a snack. <laughs> Brad? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna, like stuff my face with food in front of you guys <laughs> I don't know maybe at some point we'll get that comfy <laughs> um did you produce for NCT oh, I would love to produce for NCT I said very aggressively <laughs> I would love to yeah just still just starting with boy groups mostly girls and girl groups but um super excited to get into boy groups more I want to start my music career. I don't know who who to produce. What do you recommend? Start with what you love, right? Don't 
ever just take on things, especially in the beginning where you're like, I don't even like this music. Like, don't do that because you think it might be successful. I've done that and I've failed really badly at that, <laughs> at country music. <laughs> Yeah, starting with what you love is like because what you love is what you have potential to be good at. If like your whole soul is like, yes, I love this, I want this, it's you're much more likely to be good at that. I swear to God, I swear to you guys, it's really that simple. Hey, hey. Yeah, I want like some Tom action here now. It's funny, yeah, for those of you guys that have hung here for a while, you can kind of see how the chaos comes together after a while. At first, I'm like, I don't even know what I'm going to do. It just needs to be bigger. And then like a little bit after a little bit, it starts to work. <laughs> I feel like TikTok's not like scrolling. Yeah, what's up, what's up TikTok? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah, I don't want the toms to be 80s. I hear them being like big non lin like boom, zoom, zoom. But maybe more like 808 toms. Let's see, let's see. Have you ever sung in Spanish? Yes. <laughs> My favorite song is the song from Coco. Uh, that song is so good. I know it's like really silly to be like, yeah, I love Disney music in Spanish. But I, oh, I love the Spanish language. It's so pretty. My mom also loves it. She studied Spanish when she was a teenager. She still, like, I think, like, has a really special, like, place in her heart for it. And she always just talks about how pretty it is. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to... Oh, yeah, like one of these, maybe. Mm, cutting that through the mix, though, is going to be Shalange. Like, if I pop that in right now, I don't know if that's going to work. I mean, we we try, we'll do. We'll, we do, we try. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, the, you cannot even hear that it's too low and deep. What if I do something like that? I know that's almost like a radar sound as opposed to a plug. Uh, I mean, like a plug as opposed to a tom, but would that be cool? Why do you prefer Ableton over Logic? I could never get into Logic. And it's one of those things that's like, it's personal preference. Dolls are per personal. If whatever you do well in is what you should do. Oh, that sounds like shit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I tried. That does not sound good to me at all. I mean, just look up some Thompson here. Yeah, I think like people fighting over dolls is one of the stupidest things <laughs> that I see. Like, this one's better. I'm like, no, it's not. It's whatever you do your best work in. The end. <laughs> Very opinionated. Um, seriously, use whatever you like. Mm, what if it's like a live tom i know this is like gonna be a thing to cut up cut this up but i'm just kind of curious if this is even the right sound uh. <gasps> actually yeah i like the live kind of tom okay i have some of those then i like that like rock type of toms I know it's like you wouldn't think that worked, but in the background, it's, I think it's kind of cool, actually. We'll, we'll see. Watch me change it. Like, <laughs> literally a second. Mm, the cut of those I don't like. It's too trashy. Mm, that's that Nodlin stuff I was talking about, that 80s stuff. It's too, too much, I think. 280s. 28080. Ah... <laughs> uh, Feel myself getting frustrated. I, I'm one of those people. If I don't find my sound within like a minute, I'm like annoying. Um. Uh, well, that's exactly what I said I didn't want. But let me just go ahead and try it. Da 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 da. Conch, conch, conch. Oh, that kind of sounds good though. Hmm. It's really Loki. It does sound good, but it's pushing it more 80s then. Bum, 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 bada, gang, gang, gang. Something about the second hit I'm not digging. I 
I don't know. I don't know. I might look for some others actually. I like the idea of it, but it's not like hitting the way it should. Maybe try one of these and I just add my own verb to it. Oh, I'm getting really hungry. I might actually eat something <laughs> while I'm on here with you guys. I might just be that kind of person. <laughs> See, this just doesn't cut like the other one did. It just doesn't do it. Maybe I just, I don't like the second one. Maybe just repitch this one down a little bit, just a touch. Ah, you know what? I'm, a, I'm just liking the first hit. I'm just gonna do this. There we go. Prakaga um, kaga. I, I hear exactly the time I want, uh, the feel I want. Shabba shabba shabba. Giving 80s and it's good, really? You guys like that? Yeah, because the rest of the track's not like that, but that's a really cool thing about K-pop. It's like, you can just do whatever. If it's cool, it's cool. Do you record vocals in Ableton? I always have a latency issue with it. Um, I do, and I do. <laughs> I do, and I do. Um, basically, you just have to look at these settings. Like right now, if which I actually should do some background vocals on the bridge, especially with this output device going to YouTube, there's going to be latency. Yeah, it's a lot of it too is like your plugins that you have on. You can have just a few plugins and you suddenly have latency issues. Delay compensation really helps with that. Um, having this on a lower buffer size helps with that as well. But it is annoying. I am not going to lie. <laughs> it is annoying. I also want to pan this a little bit like dynamically. Jean, 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 Jean. Yeah, you get to have different sections that sound different and still sounds good. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I'm thinking, I'm thinking too. Yeah, this definitely is giving 80s. It really is giving more 80s than I thought in the beginning. Maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, so we have that tranga kaka kind of like, what is this, like an 808 snare fill? What do we have? Uh, there is some tom fills, see? I'm like, I don't even know what's on my own track. Oh, that's cool. Maybe that just needs to go up then. Um, group that beesh and then just um, increase the volume. Do I still produce for Gabby? I have songs on her new record, but I think they've reproduced all of them for my versions just because it's rock now and I just really am not a rock girl, you guys. Not a rock producer. Um, I, it needs to be dirtier. Let's put decapitator on it. Let's put a decapitator. Who's your biggest music inspiration at the moment? Me, bitch. <laughs> Sorry to be that girl, and I'm not actually. It's just, there's very few people that inspire me right now that are like well known. Um, definitely, like, I inspire myself because I work so hard. Um, my friends. Ellie inspires me. My friend Giselle inspires me. My friend Gino Barletta inspires me a lot. Scott Bruzenak, like, people I work with. As far as like well known people, I mean, super random Rosalia, I think, is so cool. Like, she's so talented and so sexy. It's just like overwhelming. Um, I mean, K-pop artists I write for are like so incredibly talented. It's hard to like not be inspired by them. <laughs> you know, Itzy, um, Sunmi. And we just had a song come out together that we co-produced. She's so talented. But, you know, honestly, at this point, I just like hype myself up a lot. I'm like, yeah, you can do it. You're the baddest bitch. <laughs> like, that's good. I recommend the same to you guys. <laughs> I recommend you pump yourselves up. <laughs> Would you prefer, prefer drop or anti-drop? Both. Both can be really cool if they're done right. The confidence, says Monica. Yeah, you know, I worked on it for a long time. It was not always there. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I think still there's something in the top end that's a little bit like, like too teeny. So I think maybe we just take that down, warm it up a little bit. You guys are cute. You guys are all hyping me up. You guys should hype yourselves up too. You know what? If you don't hype yourself up, ain't nobody's gonna hype you up. That's the thing. You gotta do it for yourself first. You can't expect it from other people. If there's one thing I learned is like seeking validation elsewhere, mm -mm, not the move. You gotta, you gotta validate yourself first and then it makes it so much easier to interact with the world because if things go wrong, you're like, well, I'm still great. <laughs> oh, come on, spinning wheel. Okay, that's better. I already like that better. 
I'm starving. I'm going to bring some popcorn and we will carry on. <laughs> got this it's so good it's spicy cheddar popcorn and then I got toilet paper to wipe my hands so I don't get it all over the keyboard yeah the hunger just jumped out <laughs> just now I was like I can't keep going I have to do something what's recording process like when you're working remotely with an artist um hard but possible I usually get on with them and they have an engineer record them and I'm just like giving guidance on how they should sing and then the engineer comps it in front of me and I give guidance and like let's do this take with this take and da 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 like that kind of stuff oh definitely easier in person Kim says that's why I love proud I want one of my favorite songs thank you so much it's so sweet mm. mm. <laughs> mm tips for recording mixing selena gomez type vocals it starts with a performance the performance has to be really tiny and really close to the mic that's where you start like you know that now i was gonna sing an ellie song because we actually had a lot of selena pictures back in the day that didn't go through but it's always that like I'm trying to think of one of her songs can't keep my hands to myself like it's very it's that volume very soft Mm. And then you crank, you crank the top end, give it a little shimmer around 8K on the EQ. But then also, you have to have a nice mid poking through to make the vocals sit nicely. Um, also, a lot of dry vocals. Like Selena type vocal is really, really dry, especially in the verse, like no reverb, no delays. I hope that makes sense. Mm. Is SM7B good for her type of vocals? You, yeah, that vocal, that mic is a little more mid-rangey, but you can just correct that with EQ after by pulling up a little more of the top end. The short, that short mic is really good. A lot of people love that mic. Mm. Ellie gives Selena vibes. Yeah, especially the older Ellie. If you guys heard her new stuff, you'd be like, no, this is definitely not, not Selena. It's a very, like more powerful because Ellie can actually like wail. She can sing, you know? <laughs> but we've kind of held that back. And now a lot of her mm, stuff we're working on now, it's like sing, <laughs> sing sweet nightingale. <laughs> yeah, that girl can sing. Is it common to have creative block when you produce? It, it can happen. I definitely don't always operate on like the highest creativity levels, even if I'm producing like so many songs, some I'm more inspired for than others. That's just reality of it. Um, and with my artist stuff, I go through phases. Like if I'm really overloaded with my work for like other artists, I mean, it's really hard for me to find the energy to be like, yeah, I'm going to write a song for me because I've been writing all day. I'm freaking wiped, you know? <laughs> so... Don't be hard on yourself if you have like a job and you're trying to develop your music on the side. You have to pace yourself because if you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. But also, you can push through. It's good to push through sometimes. Some, it's, you have to gauge how you feel, right? If you're on the edge of a mental breakdown, don't push through. <laughs> but if you're just being lazy, push through. <laughs> That's probably the gauge, right? <laughs> Hey, Farza, it's 6 a.m. Why are you up so early? <laughs> Why are you up so early? Thank you for being here, though. Mm. How do you make your music not sound empty? Like this, like what we're doing now after I'm done <laughs> eating my popcorn. Just working really hard at thinking about how everything is hitting, like, in the sonic spectrum. Like, 
Is your base nice and full? Is your mid range, does it have a lot going on? What's going on in your top range? Is it all rhythmic or is it melodic? Because you need to have both. Um, can like a scholarly kind of answer? Um, I'll try to demonstrate when I'm done eating. <laughs> this is so good, it's so spicy. Do you guys like spicy food? Let's just take like a second to talk not about music and about spicy food. Does anybody here like fuck with spicy food? Because, <laughs> guys, I love spicy food. I love hot sauce. My husband just bought me like the set of three hot sauces that are very hot. I put like teeniest little dollops on um, my breakfast, like my eggs yesterday. And I was like, <laughs> but I like that feeling. I think it's funny. <laughs> when your mouth is just like burning and you're dying, but then you're also kind of getting like really excited and adrenaline out of it. Girl, that was perfect to stop here. Thank you so much. I think so too. Not because I wrote it, but just like because how emotionally it resonates with me. Like if somebody else put that out, I'd be like, <laughs> as songwriters, producers, do you guys ever feel like songs you hear from others sometimes hit you as like, and you're like, damn, I wish I wrote that. That happens to me all the time. It happens to me all the time. Or I hear something and I'm like, man, that not only sounds like my writing, but it's great. And why didn't I write this? I get mad. <laughs> Have you ever made an experimental song like and Mix's debut? So my song Bada Boom with Solar and Mumbiol is probably the closest because it changes like tempo and it has like a different section, different second pre-chorus, but it's not as like as experimental where every section is different. Spicy, nicey. Yes, spicy is nicey. Shukit says, I love spicy food, especially when my nose starts running. Yeah, and then my tongue is on fire. I eat hot food, feel so good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mom Foxy says, I love spicy even if I can't take it. Aw. <laughs> uh, I will eat spicy, spicy food for every meal. You guys. <laughs> what do you think about AWOL? Is it beneficial over DistroKit? Um, I haven't distributed anything on AWOL and I haven't had any independent artists I work with distribute through them. I mean, honestly, the only like reason to go with a distributor like that is if they're pushing you like to playlisting before you think comes out. If they're not, distro, mm, distro kid is really cheap. They don't take percents. It's like, I like that about them. You know what I mean? It's really simple too to distribute through them. But if they, something like AWOL or STEM are like pushing your songs to curators, Spotify, like playlist curators, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. But it's also hard to like lock down that commitment because how do you contractually say, you must place my song in a playlist? They can't commit to that. Have you ever worked for CL? Mm-hmm, I have. She's come over one time <laughs> when she was in LA doing sessions. She's so cool. Spice is life. Yes, it is. Um, somebody asked a really cool question. How do you improve an originality while writing uh, a melody? I find it kind of hard to come up with something new. Ooh, it's a good idea. I mean, good question. Um, you collaborate. You collaborate with other people, and you kind of get their influences. Like, a lot of the stuff we're working on for Ellie, it's actually not things I'm very familiar with. A lot of the... Like, references are Jagged Little Pill, Alanis Morissette, Gwen Stefani, um, no doubt, from, like, early 2000s. And um, Shell Crow. It's not stuff I listen to, but it's really interesting because I love the songs. So it's cool for me to, like, put myself into that space and work with people that are really good at that style. And I learn a lot. I learn a lot. And then it ends up seeping into your other things that you do. So I think working with people that are a bit different than you, creatively coming from a different space, is a really good idea. Because if you just do the same thing, I mean, even for me, I'm really good at K-pop melody, but do I write the same melodies sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> really similar for my demos. So it's nice to have other people's inspirations. Mm. 
I came in before producing and now I'm snacking. Best Korean Jesus. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I had to have a break. Like, I was really hungry. <laughs> it's hard to produce when you're hungry. I don't think my toilet paper idea is gonna work. I brought it to like wipe my hands and mm -mm. I'm just so messy. Okay, I'll eat this last bite. I'm gonna wash my hands and we can keep producing. What are your thoughts about concerts in the metaverse? Oh my God, it's so crazy. I think that's honestly the future. Like VR is the future. I've said that for like the last 15 years and seeing it come to fruition, it's really exciting. Oh my God, spicy, 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 spicy. It's really exciting, but it's also scary because it's like, in a way, disconnecting us from reality. But also with COVID and everything, like everything's been so, like I wouldn't be hanging out with you guys, like if live streaming wasn't a thing, right? So it's got good and bad. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands because it's like, I literally have cheddar spice powder all over me. <laughs> Messy. I'm ready to get serious. I'm ready to like do it, you guys. <laughs> All right. Oh, wrong, 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 wrong. All right. I feel much better now. I'm gonna eat like a real lunch, I promise. <laughs> but I think I just wanna like eat a real meal in front of you guys because I wanna like cook something. So, okay, let's listen to where we're at right here. Sounding good. I think these need to pan left to right, not just to the left. Oh, I feel better. Do you know that feeling where you're like starving and then you eat and you're just like, oh, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> I don't even know why I was starving so much. It's honestly, okay, when I eat oatmeal for breakfast, it's it's really good, but it's not that filling. So by the time it's like lunchtime, I'm like, like not even hangry, like, like weak hungry, you know, where you're just like, oh, I can't think, I can't like breathe, I can't do anything. <laughs> I want this to be a bit louder. I still need to hear it like full on speakers, but we stand, we stand porridge. I stand porridge too. I think porridge is so good. Hold on, I got it. I gotta show you guys <laughs> my fake ponytail. I <laughs> uh, put it in the front. <laughs> uh, Amber says, as somebody in college for VR, I think we don't have everything in place yet to transition into the meta. Uh, world probably not yet right but in the future also amber can you write me a dm on like instagram or something because i want to ask you questions because one of the books i'm writing is like vr uh, because i've done a lot of research but i'm not studying it in school like you are i would love to talk to you about it okay you know what i want to do next i want to do a cut on the kick um, I want to do like a top, kick top, I always call it, basically like a click, um, and I have one I use every time. I'm not very creative about it, but it works. Let me just bring it in real quick. I think it's just kick top, right? That's what I saved it under. Alina kick top, there we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right? Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Okay. And I need to probably... Um, Turn it way down too. So it's gonna be like. Oh. I doubt people on TikTok can like really hear it because the speakers are low, but I like it. There you go. You know what's really fun too? Uh, well, some of these will be in the set, but if we compare to the second chorus. Oh no, cause like I moved some of the things. All right, I gotta, what I wanna do now is let's listen to this chorus with everything. And if it's working, I'll move it to the second and third chorus. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Oh, 
oh, you know what I want to do? Not not copying it yet. I want to do like a like a full on. I guess a sixteenth note hat on the second half, like just straight up. Like I want energy, honey. I want lots and lots of energy right here. Um, what is this one fifty? Okay, one fifty. Soon me. Oh, uh, twi twice red velvet soon me would eat this up. Well, I am working with Soon Me, so maybe I will send it to her. I know she is looking for next songs already. Um, the vocals, thank you. I'm glad you like the vocals. This is me and Ellie together singing. Really good girl group on this. I think it's really cute. And Giselle co-produced this with me, co-wrote it with me. So all women, all ladies on this. Uh, best career in Jesus. Is, I really love watching people's workflow. I do too. Like when I collaborate with people, I'm always like, how do you do this? Well, I do it like this, but how do you do this? <laughs> it's kind of fun. Um, let me just see. Hats. Honestly, having these like acoustic hats, but making them 16 note, maybe that will be vibes. Let's see. Is it vibes or is it not going to work? Oh, that's so chaotic. I don't know if I love that, but let's just hear it in context. If even like the idea is good. <laughs> I actually really love how short it is. It's like gnarly. I just don't like any of those open hats. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just do this. Oops, 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 oops. Literally this. This is kind of cool. Like it's just such a little clicky thing, but. I buy it, I buy it. Okay, okay. And copy, 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 copy. One more. Yeah. You guys saying this is inspiring? Oh, thank you. Also, for yeah, for everybody that's on... Uh, I probably said this a bunch of times. I apologize if I keep repeating myself. But all the TikTokers right now, I'm on, I'm on YouTube with this. And you can actually like, see everything and hear it a lot better. So come on over to YouTube if you want. It's just Liar Music Group. The same as here. You guys are saying this is so inspiring. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. That's a very sweet thing to say. Also, what are we doing effect-wise on here? Let me turn the vocals off because I feel like we could also go harder on the effects. So we got like a sweep right here. Actually, everything is a bit low. It's a bit like, mm, I can spread things wider. What is this little thing right here? It's just probably like white noise, isn't it? Oh, it's so low pitched. I don't like that. Mm -mm. Let me see if I can change that or pick something better. It's very like midi in a way that I don't like. Have you written for twice before? Yeah, I have a whole, whole story about it. I had a song that was basically confirmed cut with them back in like 2016 when they were starting out. Confirmed and everything. And then it just didn't come out. And this is before I produced like full time. It was just a top liner on it. And they like paid the producers and everything and then they just like didn't come out. So I don't actually even think I'm allowed to pitch it to anybody. Plus it was under my old publishing deal, blah, 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 blah. But it still like makes me sad. I'm like, I that was such a cute song for Twice at that point. They're a lot more mature now, but it was very like adorable kind of cute song, you know? Do you have recommended splice samples, ones you use often love? Oliver Kit, I mean, that's a very basic answer because it's like everybody's favorite, but it's everybody's favorite for a reason. It's really good. Also my own splice back liar. <laughs> Look it up, I think it's good. I use it a lot actually. Also, I have a pack coming out with ADSR. I can't, I don't know when. Am I allowed to talk about this? I think so. Nobody told me not to. <laughs> it's all like K-pop chants and shouts like, yeah, ah, uh -huh, bang, bang, like stuff like that. So um, that would be really, really good, actually. Uh, probably comes out soon. I don't know. Yeah, no, exactly. Best Green Jesus says it just goes every to show everybody paints a picture, tells a story differently. There's no right way as long as it gets cut done. There's no right or wrong way to do music, guys. If anybody tells you there's a right or wrong way to do music, run. <laughs> no, for real. It's like this is all about creativity. There are there are like craft things you like can know and should know. The more experience though you get, the more you can literally break rules because you like know what you're doing, you know. Hey. I 
want like a gnarlier sweep, like like more like a wind up type vibe. I know what I want, but I can't think of the sample name. Ugh. Sometimes I try to remember my favorite sample, like samples by heart, but sometimes I just don't remember them. So let's just go through like sweeps and stuff, but I know exactly like the one I want. Risers, yeah, there we go. Do you have any tips for transitions? Even if I try to do something minimal, it sounds so choppy. Oh, mm, well, um, effects and fills is really like what you can do. And also, oh, sorry, I'm burping because of the popcorn. Uh, reverses, like reversing an instrument that you already have. Like let's say if it's like a dun guitar, you can take that and reverse that always. Anything you reverse always helps the transition. But it's kind of what I'm working on right now. So you can see like, this is like honestly kind of what I wanted. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I just listened to it. And honestly, like the thing also with the transition is not to stop, right? If it sounds choppy, it sounds choppy probably because there's like not enough in it and it's not mixed like perfectly. So it's just a, if it's sounding choppy, do you keep going, add more things, take things away if it's not working um, and also mix it differently, you know, and see, I know it's like, here, I'll, ju I'll just be like showing what I'm doing with this one specifically. It's already like a decent transition because it has things in it. But like I heard like a bigger, gnarlier, more mechanic-y kind of sweep under it. Yeah, here you go. Boom. Yeah, I see that worked like... A lot of the times just sweeps, honestly, if you like don't know what to do with the transition, you're like, I don't really know what to do. Just having a sweep will work most of the time, I swear. Oh, you know what? I want to repeat that doom, 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 the 80s time. Ah, cute. Okay. This is feeling really good, guys. It's feeling really good. I want to put the vocal back on. Also, I realized Anna, uh, Ellie, and I called her by her real name. Ellie made that, uh, saying that you make me wanna a bit better than me, so I'm gonna copy hers over. You make me wanna it's a lot more powerful. My voice is just very like, eh, it's super, like I can create a bit of a point, but not that high. So I'm gonna delete my vocal here and bring in Miss Ellie's vocal. Mm, there you go. You make me wanna So how are these BGVs mixed? There's too many mids. Let's just play with these for a second. Um, I like this mag plugin. <laughs> I think it's M-A-G -A -A is like the correct way to pronounce it, but I'm just gonna call it mag. Because uh, that sounds funnier. E. And then turn down some of these mids. None of those. There you go, better. Yeah. I also like to center, use a center plugin, get them out of the mids so the, the lead can live in the middle. Mm -hmm. Like it. Like it. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, okay. You make me wanna I like it, I like it. Okay, guys, pretty good. Pretty good, I'm not mad at this at all. Um, the vocal could sit better in the mix, but I also like don't want to mix not on my speakers. So I might just like ignore that for now and just focus more on producing. But the scores is sounding like nice to me. I'm really happy about it. Um, so you got me like, could use a double to be honest. I kind of like lazy. I don't want to do one, but I think I should do one right now. You got me like, I think I should do it. Um, let me just make a couple extra double tracks in here. Why not? Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
I need to, because my mic is cranked up also right now, so high with like so much compression, I need to like sit off of center actually. Well, I mean, not that close to the mic because otherwise it's gonna be really, really crunchy and compressed. So let me go ahead and do that. Oh, what else? Oh my God, what? Did you hear that? What the heck? That's crazy. I think it's just because of this. Let me, okay, very quickly. It does not like this YouTube recording preset at all. This like bussing situation that I've got. Usually just switching it back and forth works. That was odd though. That was like a cursed moment, possessed moment for sure. Okay, let me see. Hello? Yeah, that should work. Okay, all right. Yeah. You got me like. I know I have speakers going on. Do as I say and not as I do. Don't do this. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Record cleanly, guys. I'm just doing it for the stream. <laughs> me like okay there we go <laughs> so crunchy too and it's probably going to be also delayed because of all my streaming stuff that's going on oh well oh well do this properly though for real guys <laughs> don't do this you got me like. i will say though having it be that crunchy cuts it through the mix i i know i know this is like i never record with this like for real this is like my when I'm streaming and I just don't feel like switching things back and forth mode, but Ellie's always like, but that sounds so good. It's so like nice and crunchy. I'm like, in, in a way, yeah. Okay, yeah, that actually sounds good. <laughs> oh well, oh well. <laughs> Sometimes doing things totally wrong <laughs> pays off. <sighs> okay, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. The only thing I'm gonna do before we move on to the bridge is, okay, if this scrolls, there's, oh, it's okay, it's already doing this. This is, don't do this in your real mixes, but demos, I basically sidechain side to the lead, but not the kick and not the snare. Honestly, not the fills either. I need to get the fills out of this group. It's mostly for like tonals. Um, it's a good way to just get the vocal to stand out, but I don't recommend it for mixing, like for real, because it makes it pumpy a little bit. But for like a quick demo mix, it works. It works quite well, actually. Mm, 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 okay, <laughs> I'm starting to get lost in my own session. What was I trying to get out of these? And I'm gonna call these toms just so I'm not like lost, lost. Also these little ones. Mm, I might kind of want those out of this group too. Mm -mm. You guys are all so sweet. You're giving me all these compliments. Thank you so much. Thank you for hanging out with me, enjoying what I do. It's very fun for me. It's very enjoyable for me too. It makes it more fun to do this with you guys and not just alone. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And boom. Reminds me. It reminds me of Cherry Bullet. They're good. They're really good. And okay, this is one of those moments. Oh, what do we have in there? So this drone thing right here, um, I need to take out. This is like how I start discovering things that are a little bit off. I need to take the bottom frequencies out because our 808's already getting those. This is really just more for the mid range and the like lower mids. Yeah. Oh, it's good. I want it to be even gnarlier though. I got radiator on it. Maybe I should crank, crank that. This is the kind of thing that like will give the song power, the feeling of power. Um, let me see what this radiator is doing. Mm, I like that. I like it, I like it, I like it. And then what I want to do is just hear this group. And I'm probably just gonna go a little bit down on the whole group. Other than this, this thing I think needs to stay up there, the, the melodic sound. 
Honestly, this thing needs to get out of this group because I hear it being like the pump is turning it down. That's why I say that's a very quick mix trick and not like a good one for real life. <laughs> Let me see. Let me just put this here. I think I want this to be out of this processing group. Just so it like lives. I like that. I like that. I want a different fill here. Like more. I just want more, actually, an urban fill here. More urban because everything's so like 80s and I need to lean back into the urban sections, which are the verses, start leading back into it. So let's look for something like that. It's cool seeing your process. Thank you so much. Um, da -da 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 -da. Let's see. Yeah, I've been on this course for a long time, but choruses are worth it, guys. Chorus is the place you should spend your the majority of your time on. It is the truth. It is the truth. Snare fill. Okay, where I want to look in K-pop, right? Is that my full? Yeah, in here. Like one of those ones. Oh, I, you know what? No, I'm gonna look in ones I made. Let me just type in fill. Pra 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 da da. Like something like that is what I want. Uh, Afonso says, hi, Alina, oh my God, your hair looks so cute. Thank you so much. It's not real, but like, let's pretend it is, right? <laughs> Uh-oh, we've got webcams chat, hot girls and boys video chat. I don't know about that, guys. How do you like, how do you uh, disallow somebody? Does somebody know how to do that? <laughs> I'm a bad YouTuber, guys. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> how do you like tell somebody not to do porn in your... <laughs> Uh, report, remove, report, yeah, report, pornography, report, <laughs> okay, and then block, put user in timeout, ah, oh, see, I'm learning, <laughs> is this live, yes, it is live, uh, <laughs> where can I find the... Descriptions from the Korean labels for new songs, like briefs. Unfortunately, they, they're they not public, you know? It's very, like, you have to kind of be in the music industry. People ask me this all the time, and I'm like, honestly, the thing that you need is more just, like, great collaborations with people that are already working in the industry, and that's when you can, like, get into it. It's hard, though, because, like, people that are in it, like, they want to collaborate with people that are also in it. It's a bit of a catch-22. Honestly, I'm I'm always thinking about like writer development, producer development, artist development, and how it's like so hard to circumvent that and how it's a unique story for every single person how they circumvented like the catch-22 of like nobody wants you when you're not successful. I'm I'm honestly working on that. I'm thinking about that all the time and I'm like, how, what can I do in the future to like help make this better? Because I mentor people, but like it's like one person, you know? How do you make this better for everybody? I don't know yet, guys. I'll be honest with you. Oh, what do I want? Tra tra ta ta da da ta ta ta, like something like that. Um, like this, I think, is what I want to get. Dun dun dun, ta ka ka ta. Um, I was moving these around, but like not really paying attention, just talking with you guys. Oh my god, my phone is dying. I'm gonna have to get off of uh. TikTok pretty soon, I think. That's okay though. Um, those of you that are on TikTok that want to keep hanging out, um, go to YouTube. <laughs> it's much better on uh, on YouTube anyway because you can like really hear what I'm doing. Um, no, no, no. Kevin says I've reported them. Yeah, me too. I think they're gone. I think you're gone. You know you've made it when the bots find you. <laughs> I guess, right? so funny i i remember so when adsr adsr was my first experience twitching i still uh twitching <laughs> streaming i still stream with adsr once a month i just did um last week or was it this week i think it was was it this week or last week i don't know guys um i think it was this week yeah uh this monday 
but I was so nervous. My first, I like couldn't sleep the night before my first stream. I like literally felt like sick to my stomach. Your hair is so cool. Thank you so much. Uh, I felt literally so scared to stream because I thought people were going to be so mean to me. I mean, no cap because I'm a woman producing. I thought that people would be mean. I really did. And I'm really, really glad I was pr proven wrong because everybody was so nice. And I was like, oh, this not bad. <laughs> this is not bad. <laughs> I was really nervous. So, but I guess at some point you need moderators in like YouTube and Twitch and stuff because people will come in and like try to sell you porn. <laughs> Any tips for beginners wanting to learn to produce? Yeah, use YouTube. There's a lot of really good uh, tutorials that are like very in depth. Um, you can check out my channel at Slyer Music. I will definitely say like I don't do a lot of beginner stuff. My stuff is more advanced. Um, Make Pop Music. He makes a lot of really really good tutorials. Tatro. He his is more like lo-fi. He's really talented. Lena does audio stuff. Her stuff is all um, Ableton based she's like a certified instructor she knows so much about it like way more than i do um she's amazing they're all really good uh, it's a little messy let me see what i can do to make this less messy um I, there's other fills going on that's i think the problem here um where are my other fills <laughs> When your session is big and you're a little bit like, mm, where am I? Oh, I really did think I would have a, I had a feeling, I guess I didn't. Okay, well then I just need to fix this up. Specifically this like, this thing right here is a little messy, I think. Let me just mute that for a second. Mm. Yeah, this, there's something, there's something here. Yeah, okay, what's going on? It's time stretching it and it's making the attack go away. And I was like, why does this feel sound like bleh, like washy? That's why, that is why. Okay, well, we will fix that. Sometimes some of these like modes, um, these time stretch warp modes in Ableton, they're great, but sometimes they do things like this. So you have to like pay attention to it. That's kind of what I think I want to do, maybe like this, tune this down. Oh yeah, and this goes here. Yeah. Okay. I buy it, I buy it. Let's transient shape it as well to make it even like harder hitting. Any tips for making certain things stand out without making transients too intense? I know compressors help a lot, but is there anything more you can do? Distortion, saturation, a little bit. Definitely like a touch of saturation can help things stand out better. In fact, I will do it right now with decapitator. Not always. You have to be really subtle and really careful about this kind of stuff. So it's not just like crunchy. Just a little bit is. Like I'll go a lot. You know, it, it works out like probably somewhere here for this. Mm, maybe a little bit brighter tone. Yeah, that warmth adds a lot to my ear at least. I love it. Okay, all right. Let's hear this chorus. I'm gonna close my eyes so I can just like get rid of the visual and just listen. You make me wanna do pretty happy with that i'm pretty happy with that i love that it went so 80s it's like two songs in one almost production wise but it works like at least for me it works oh i'm excited <laughs> i'm excited um it has a sisters vibe mm, you're so good thank you so much i appreciate it um Okay, I'm pretty sure we can just go ahead and copy this course over to the second one i always try to make some kind of change 
But sometimes it's just vocal too. I just don't want it to be a total, like total, total copy. So let's think about that for a second. Um, I mean, is there ad lib here? Ellie, just being talented. <laughs> just being very, she's being very talented on the, these ad libs. Um, you make me wanna do much to add more. I'll be honest with you, I actually don't know what to add. It's like so cohesive, like ad libs things that I thought of, I'm like, it's just adding to add. It's not actually creative. <laughs> you make me wanna do Maybe, okay, maybe it's even like super subtle. Maybe that little ding, we put it at the top of this. That might be a fun little tiny thing we can do. But yeah, adding for the sake of adding is never good. Only when it actually helps make it better. Can you even hear that? You make me wanna do. Not really, I can, I can work on that though. I can work on it. Uh, 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 uh. Andy says, I wish I could sing. Um, I relate. I mean, I sing really well, but there's certain things I can't sing. Like the, eh, like that. Oh, I, cause I originally cut that vocal. That is so high for me, you guys. I literally struggled so hard to get that to sound not just like, ah, like super soft. And I still couldn't really do it. So I relate like wanting to be able to vocally do something that you can't do. I relate to that 100%. This sounds so good. Thank you, Daniel. I really appreciate it. Ah, oh, Leek says, this is helpful. I've learned so much. I'm so glad you guys are learning. That's all I want. Like, honestly, like, <laughs> this is really funny. Somebody tried to, like, sort of, like, bully me about this YouTube channel the other day. And they were like, well, I guess it's good that your producer career is doing better than your YouTube channel. And I was like, first of all, this is, like, a reverse compliment. But second, this is my hobby. Like, streaming and YouTube is this straight-up hobby. Like, yes, I get sometimes hired by companies to like show you guys products but like it's not my mainstream of income I don't aspire for it to be my mainstream of income it's just something I do mostly for fun and because I like to hang out with you guys and because I like to help so this person I was like what kind of weird like what kind of weird shade is this it's like not even really like hurtful like <laughs> sort of a compliment it's so funny <laughs> um Oh, uh, yeah, per pin, pinter, pinteric, pinteric, I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong, asked, is there a specific system by which you have your markers set? So I straight up just have them at eight bar intervals in my like startup, like preset sessions. And I don't even write like verse chorus a lot of times. It's just, I really just need to have them be at tops of like verses, choruses, pre-choruses. Sometimes I mark them like I can write down chorus, but a lot of times, as long as it's, there's a marker, I'm like, oh, that's probably the chorus. Like, it just makes it easier to navigate. That's really it. Super simple. Um, that still doesn't, it still doesn't stand out, does it? Like, at all. Oh, there we go. Cranking is. Uh, now it's, of course, like, really overloading it. Mm, okay, fine. I'll limit it. <laughs> Fine. Wow, so much work. <laughs> you make me wanna okay, I like that. I like that. And then I just have to get rid of all of that here because that will make it too loud. It's actually kind of cute though. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like it. Maybe we will just have a little bit less on the master of this EQ just to have it be a little softer. You make me wanna Oh, you guys are so sweet. Uh, HT Production su Suite says, I like hanging with your infectious energy. Keep doing your thing. Ah, oh, thank you. Very, very sweet. Um, TBH Zui, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, says, you've been so inspiring to me. Thank you. That's very sweet. It's very, very sweet. You guys are literally, I want to create a community of like, 
musicians or just fans, you know, that are just really positive, good people. And like, don't do hate, don't like spread bad vibes, just hang out with each other, help each other. <laughs> Your TikToks have been so inspiring as well, well explained. Shame on that person, LOL. Uh, you know, I, I'm not hurt. I just thought it was actually really funny, like hate. I was like, you sort of gave me a compliment. Like, I don't, like, you're not very good at hating. <laughs> It's really silly. Like, get better at hate, okay? <laughs> really, no. <laughs> Let's not spread hate, you guys. I mean, maybe I can have some kind of like, like little, some kind of sweeping effect. <laughs> <laughs> this is me definitely this is like final production stages where I'm just like what more can I add what more can I add like even like something like that might be kind of fun it's a little bit 80s a little bit like cosmic vibes so I'm burping because I eat so much popcorn so fast those that were here for that no <laughs> Uh, waiting for you to pull up that sublet precept to low-key steal that. I don't think I did anything that special, Denzel, I swear. Let me see. Um, it's straight up 808 NASCAR. I'm sorry. There's no secret sauce. It's literally 808 NASCAR. It's the second preset, it's, which is my favorite. I use some of the other ones. I don't know if... Okay, here's a good tip. This is a good tip, I think. For those of you guys that use Sublab, there's a free preset pack that they have. It's totally free. It's called Best of Sublab. You just download it and easy to install, and it has really good sounds. Just go get that. It's free. Um, okay, yeah, I was doing this laser thing. Yeah, if we started here. Yeah, something obviously needs to like move differently a little bit and be quieter and stuff and pan. But I do, I do like that. Does it pan already? Oh, okay. I like it. I like that. Okay, amazing. Okay, that's literally all I hear doing differently in the second chorus. Like, sorry about it. <laughs> that's literally all I hear. Okay, let's work on the bridge. Let me get some water because I gotta sing. Well, before I, s yeah, no, yes, no. I was like, before I sang, I should do some production, but also like, I kind of know what I want to do. I want to do these like pads. So I might just go ahead and do them. Let me turn YouTube's camera so it faces me better. Er, now that I'm about to be at the microphone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I feel like my whole like YouTube setup is like so homemade. <laughs> I'll turn to you guys too. See it with me. Um, I love your work. Thank you so much. I love you. Okay. Let me also move you guys closer to me. My comments from YouTube because my my vision is not that good. I'm not gonna be able to see what you guys are saying. I love Splice so much, my god, absolute game changer. It really is. I feel like I got so much better at producing since I got Splice in like 2016. Okay, all right, I'm situated now. So, 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 so. We need some, we need some love on this bridge. This bridge has nothing. She's, she's giving us nothing at the moment. <laughs> Cause we wrote this top line, it was so late last night and I was just like, let, let me do this some other time. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Yeah, okay, all right, we're gonna do some patty pads. Oh, I probably need to unfreeze these now though. <laughs> if the performance decreases, I apologize. Oh, not one, oh, what? I don't think I need all of them. I think maybe I'll do like six parts. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go, let's just unfreeze these. So this is the three minor. 
Um, maybe like a hum, like what I just did. I like that. And I am actually gonna do this properly. So put this on monitoring. Sorry if it's quiet now for YouTube for a second. No, I can't get you off my mind. Cause you're one of a kind, so special. Okay, not bad. No, I can't get you off my mind. Cause you're one of a kind. Okay, I buy it. Off my mind. Cause you're one of a. Ooh. Oh, I have a, a filter on. We don't need that. I want it to be brighter. Okay. Device off. <laughs> off my mind. Cause you're one of a Yeah. I think that's the top note, yeah? No, I can't get you off my mind. Cause you wanna mm, I'm going to join place finally giving in. Do it, do it, do it. EDSR is really great too for samples. No, I can't get you off my mind. Cause you're one of a kind. Pretty, I like that. even think I'm gonna do a third one mostly because I'm lazy <laughs> but also because it sounds good off my mind, cause you're one of a kind so special kind so special uh, I hear like uh, like that kind of vibe mm. mind, cause you're one of a kind so special Just do an octave for the out right away. Da, da, da. Uh, ah. <laughs> dot high behind for me. Okay. Off my mind, cause you're one of a kind, so special. Yeah, I want you to take. That's good. It's alright. Off my mind, cause you're one of a kind, so special. Nah, I was not ready. Cause you're one of a kind, so special. Yeah, I want you to take. Cool. Ain't so special. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty. You guys are all talking about splice in the TikTok chat. Yeah, I think actually the cheapest is seven ninety nine. That's the one. I don't know if I maybe grandfathered in or something, but that's the one I see on my bank statement. Seven ninety nine. Uh, for splice. Is there any beginner production programs I could start with? Okay, honestly, guys, if somebody knows, please leave that in the comments because I get this question all the time and I don't know. I actually don't know. Yeah, because a lot of stuff I do is a little more like, it's a little more advanced, intermediate, whatever. Like, I'm not even like really like teaching, teaching. I'm just showing how I do things and like if you learn from it, like amazing. But I do wonder about like more structured programs. Damn that e piano panning around. <laughs> yeah, it's like, honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to keep that sound. It's just like the first sound I pulled up when I was writing just the chords yesterday, you know? It's pretty though. I want a harmony like here though, because right now I just have a stack, lots of stack. I think. One of a kind so special. Yeah, I want you to. That's where I gotta end up. I'll try. Cause you're one of a kind, so special. Yeah, I want you to take. Oh no, it's doing the thing again, guys. It's doing the thing. Cursed, cursed. <laughs> I'll never understand why that happens. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Oh, you guys are talking about plugins and stuff. Yeah, I think if you're starting out using stock plugins is good. Like, don't don't spend money. Like, until you know you want to do this, like, avoid spending money. This stuff's expensive. Um, let's see. Da 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 da. What was it? Na 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 na. Okay. Uh. Mm. Cause you're one of a kind, so special. Yeah, I want you to take. It wasn't super clean, but yeah, <laughs> it's fine. And then we have a latency too. Mm -hmm. Cause you're one of a kind, so special. Yeah, I want you to take. That's pretty good. Let's see. I'm so special. Yeah, I want you to oh take God. my time. My time. I feel like a pretty odd lip there. Maybe I'll just go ahead and add it. Oh my God, come on. My mouse is like, you're gonna die now, girl. Bro, you're gonna die. No, <laughs> it's just died for like a second. Cause you're one of a kind, so special. Yeah, I want you to take my time. Take my time. Yeah, I want you to take my time. Ooh, take my time. I'll try that. Yeah, I want you to take my time. Up. <laughs> I was not ready. Yeah, I want you to take my time. Take my time. Being with you is so that's all right. I want you to take my time. Oh, that's pretty. It's just super latency right now. Super latency vibes. Yeah, I want you to take, take my time I mean, do with something natural. It needs to be a lot quieter. I don't want to be louder than the lead. Definitely need a stock on something natural. For sure. Yeah, it does have a little bit of a J-pop vibe. Yeah, I mean... Honestly, I like it. It's pretty. I'm definitely like I'm not the producer that questions too much. I'm very like if I if it goes, it goes right. Like if I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. I don't like go oh, like oh, but is this right for so and so? Especially when it's not like a direct pitch. Like I'm always like oh, I just want to do what I like, <laughs> and usually that leads me well. I've noticed the more you go with what you're naturally drawn to, the better results you get. It's just my experience, though. Yeah, I want you to take my time. Cause being with you is something natural. Mm, I probably should double her first, but like airy. Something natural. I'll try. Cause being with you is something natural. Thinking. I was pitchy, but you know what? Out of tune. Eh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, we're gonna spin now. Stupid latency. Stupid latency. Sounds good though, <laughs> other than that. Um, oh, I think I'm guessing it goes here. Almost. Oh, is Classy's song only on YouTube because I can't find it on Apple Music? So, guys, I don't have the tea on Classy. I know, um, I know what I have confirmed with them, which I really shouldn't be talking about. I mean, I from what I, I'm guessing, they haven't like communicated their team with me yet. But it's I think there's like an album or an EP coming out, and stuff like surprise and stuff is gonna be on it, and the other songs that they've um, like previewed on the show. But don't quote me on that. That's just kind of my guess. Andy says, say you're making a song and it's taking some time to finish. Should you stick with it or not? It depends on if you like it or not. And I would say, you know what? If you're like a professional and if you don't think it has potential, I'd say abandon it. But if you're starting out, I'd say for sure stick with it because you need experience finishing things. You need the experience going from like top to bottom, you know, and if you always just abandon things, you will never learn the skills you need to finish things. 
I hear a higher one, but I don't know if I can. Something natural. I'll try. Tune will get that. If not, I'll hand tune it. That should work. With the tune and all. With the tune and all. Something natural. I love auto tune, it sounds so good. <laughs> This is flat right here, though. Flatty, flatty, flat, flat. Here go. Yeah, I like that. Is a Blue Yeti mic good for recording songs? That's a good one. That's a good to start. Good one to start with. Yeah. Um. Danielle says, one of the hardest things for me initially was figuring out how to make nice transitions between verses, choruses, bridges. It's, ch it's challenging in the beginning, for sure. I'm also going to just manually drop this S right here in volume. I like that. Also, yeah, guys on TikTok, I am actually going to need to charge my phone because it's dying and I will need to be traveling soon when I'm done with this stream. So I'm going to say goodbye to you on TikTok, YouTube, we're, we're sticking here. But um, for those of you guys that want to continue this, I'm on YouTube live right now. It's a lot better so you can see like my screen and everything I'm doing. So if you want to join, it's just Liar Music Group. But I'm going to log off here on TikTok because I got to charge my phone. Love you guys so much. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, cool. I'm actually going to go plug this in because it is so dead. And I will return for those of you guys on YouTube. husband's so sweet he's giving me all these solutions for like plugging in my phone for tiktok and i'm like ah, i already ended the stream sorry <laughs> okay all right now actually i can turn off the speakers too which i feel like they were really low it's fine especially for demo but i'm kind of a little bit like that's so not the vibes to have speakers on as you're recording one more i think Oh, that was so pitchy, but whatever. So, so, something natural. Keep wanting to burp. Oops. Mm, something natural. Cause being with you is something natural. Cause being with you is something natural. That's good. Cause being with you is something natural. Kim says it sounds so sweet. I think it's cute. That's a really cute part. Yeah, I like this part a lot. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I love that you guys are all like discussing effects and plugins and stuff. See, this is why I want to make the Discord so you guys can like have a dedicated space to hang out and not just the comments in my streams. <laughs> something being with you is something okay, I moved this wrong. One of these is two of these actually. Pretty late. Something natural Thinking about it Yeah, I want it I'm gonna Okay, so No, I can't
can't get you off my mind Cause you're one of a kind, so special Yeah, I want you to take my time Cause being with you is something natural I actually think I 100% want to repeat these here Oh, I just got like a lightheaded moment Like, oh, oh. <laughs> you guys just ever have that like out of I don't know where you're like what what is my life <laughs> yeah I want you to take my time cause being with you is something natural thinking about it yeah I want it uh that was so bad thinking about it I maybe just bowed it and want it thinking about it about it thinking about it yeah I want it oh. yeah something like that I kind of like that I wish there wasn't latency, but there is. still flat but you know what sometimes you just that's just how it is i'm just gonna pull it up manually these are all so loud why they're so loud thinking about it yeah i want it i'm gonna make sure i'm get let's do one more stack though in here thinking about about thinking about it yeah about it about it yeah about it about it yeah i want it about it yeah about it Ooh, that's hard. But I'm gonna I don't know if the last note's right, but I'm just gonna manually repitch it if it's not. Nice to add that lower lower vibration though. Lower vibration, what? Lower harmony. I'm losing it, you guys. I feel like I've been talking to myself for three hours. <laughs> this has been a long stream. It's almost, it's two and a half hours. It's going to be three by the time we're done. It's my longest stream I've ever done. I feel proud of myself. I was so, like, nervous to do this when I started a few months ago. And now I'm, like, eating popcorn in front of you guys. <laughs> It's how it be. <laughs> it, yeah, I, it. I, mm, I hate that so much. it. I found it. <laughs> one, one. It's a little rubby, but I like it. One, yeah, I want it. So like red velvety. Okay, cute. Oh no, we have more hot girls and boys web chat chat porn stuff. Report. <laughs> porn. <laughs> I think I need a moderator, you guys. Um, hide user on this channel. There we go. The user's messages will be hidden. I think I did it right now. There's autotune. Yes, guys, there's definitely autotune. Come on. <laughs> 100%. I'm never shy about using autotune. You know what? It's God's gift <laughs> to singers. It really is. I mean, listen, it's all, it's a tool. You use it or you abuse it, right? Thinking about it, yeah, I want it. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving us a chance.
Yeah. I'm gonna make sure I'm I wanted some patty. Want it. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving it. I want it. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving Ooh. us a chance. I don't like that. Ooh. Yeah, I want it. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving Ooh. us a chance. I don't know. That's all right, I think. Uh, slow, 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 slow. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I want it. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving mm -hmm. us a chance. I don't know. Time. Yeah, I want it. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving. Oh, I did it wrong. Doing it. Yeah, I want it. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving us a chance. I don't yeah, I want it. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving us a chance. Ah, the ending is so crappy. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving us a chance. I don't know. Yeah, and I'll splice these together. Yeah, yeah. So for you guys in the chat, how do you like to do vocals? Do you guys like to comp on the spot like me, or do you like to record a bunch of takes and comp later? I'm gonna make sure I'm giving us a chance. I don't I'm definitely like here and now, girl. I do not like to comp. I haven't comped in like <laughs> ten years. I literally don't. I have ever shoes. <gasps> Okie dokie. <laughs> Get that ending right now. Yeah, I want it. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving us a chance. I don't know. It's better. It's a little better. Yeah, I want it. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving us a chance. I don't know. That's cute. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving us a chance. I don't know. Uh, is that right? <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I'm giving us a chance. I don't know. I'll try. Still getting it. Thinking about it. Yeah, I want it. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving us a chance. I don't know. Oh Thinking about it. Yeah, I want it. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving us a chance. I don't know. Almost. On the spot, yeah, I know, same. Me on the spot as well. Record a million takes. I mean, I do too, but I like comp them all on the spot. You know what I mean? Like right now I'm not comping. I just do it like a couple of times because it's just harmonies, but Lisa just have it going on loop and then I comp right away, right there. Recut, punch things in, you know, all the things. I think I need one more part as lazy as I am <laughs> just to make this like really big. I'm gonna make sure... I'm gonna Ooh, did I already do that? Ooh, ooh. Okay, I missed one. Ooh. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving us a chance. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving us a chance. I don't know. I think. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We'll try. Thinking about it, yeah, I want it. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving mm, us a chance with my entrance. No. Thinking about it, yeah, I want it. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving Ooh. us a chance. I don't know. Ooh. Thinking Ooh. about it, yeah, I want it. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving Ooh. us a chance. I don't know. Okay, one more. Ooh. Thinking about it, yeah, I want it. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving. 
yell and curse when my microphone gets fuzzy and record a good take. Yeah, you know, I yell and curse too sometimes when I do this. It can, can be frustrating. It can be quite frustrating. Oops. Also, I for sure have to go soon because my friend got hit by a truck walking across the street and I'm going to go visit her. And I'm supposed to be there at like 4.30. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Your paradise. I'm gonna make sure I'm giving us a chance. I don't know time making you mine. Just oh, I definitely have to do harmonies there. I'm just tired. This whole section is nothing but. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know time. But I when I'm giving us a chance. I don't know time making you mine. Just my, my what? Dance. I don't know time making you. I think maybe the harmony is a move. Okay. Giving us a chance. I don't know. Time. Making you mine. Just yeah, the harmony doesn't move. Okay. That makes it easy. Easy is good. Ooh, ooh. Let me just place this too. I hate this latency stuff, but oh well. 99.4. That's where it goes. Okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Right on the dime. Giving us a chance. I don't know. Time. Making you mine. Just take my head. I think that's right. Look at this latency, you guys. Isn't this mad? Us a chance. I don't know. Time. Making you mine. Just take my Yeah, cool. I like it. I don't know. I don't know. Time. Making you mine. Just yeah, I'll do the little one. I don't know. Time. Making you mine. Giving us a chance. I don't know. And these recorded without latency, y'all. How does this work? I don't understand. I love that you guys are talking about collabing in the chat. That makes me happy. Just take my hand and I'll make your paradise. You make me wanna die. Okay, that just needs some kind of pad. Making you mine. Just take my hand and I'll make your paradise. Ooh, maybe just like up the uh, up just up the scale. What? I can't talk. Ooh. Make your paradise. And I'll make your paradise. No, it can't go with the same rhythm as the lead. Ooh. And it'll make your paradise. You make me wanna do I think I'll just do that. It's simple. Nice. Ooh, nah, nah, nah. Ooh. Just take my hand and I'll make your paradise. You make me wanna do cool. mm. Ooh. Just take my hand and I'll make your paradise. I think this is all the harmonies. I knew there was going to be a lot for this bridge. Because it's like, I, it's not produced yet. I'm going to add some stuff. But the the harmonies just felt like they needed to like carry this thing. No, I can't get you off my mind. Because you're one of a kind so special. Yeah, I want you to take my time. Because being with you is something natural. Thinking about it. Yeah, I want it. I'm going to make sure I'm getting So I want to go with like cute meets 80s for this bridge and I probably have like 
five minutes to be honest before I have to stop but that's okay <laughs> but that's just okay so first of all I'm just gonna copy some of these sweeps into the last chorus nice and simple actually let me put on first of all let me just move this now I'm gonna put on the sound so you guys can actually hear me talk isn't this better I don't like this sweep it feels too it doesn't feel like organic enough what is this oh it's another one that's like okay I'll do something else I'll do another one that's a little prettier here and then also probably this right at the top of this bridge right no, I can't get you off my mind because yeah. you're one of a kind so special yeah it's pretty it's pretty I think it just needs to be a little more electronic than this piano I probably I'm not like fully feeling the vibes of the piano so I might go ahead and just replace that straight away oh my the burp is real the burp is real okay okay let me free some tracks because we are struggling yet again because I've unfroze all the backgrounds when I was singing, obviously. How are you guys doing? Oh, you guys are talking about YouTube channels. Sounds so lush. Thank you so much. Mm -mm -mm. I love this. I love that you guys are all hanging out in the chat. In the chat. Uh, what is everybody doing for the rest of the day or evening, whatever time it is for you guys? I am going to go see my friend and then honestly I'm probably done like I'm going to see her I might go see Ellie possibly talk to my friend Giselle kind of chill kind of chill I have to work tomorrow and day after though so probably good to chill sorry if I'm crunching in your ear <laughs> I apologize <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. okay <laughs> I'm gonna use the toilet paper now <laughs> all right and did this make things a little bit better diva is one of those scents that I use that I love but it is such a CPU sucker no tea no shade but every time I put this bitch on <laughs> my CPU is like <laughs> yeah so <laughs> Good plug-in, bad CPU usage. Hi, Benjamin, how are you? I sound Spanish, don't tell me that. I like love everything Hispanic and Latin. Like, don't tell me that. <laughs> I do love Spanish. I speak a little, little bit of Spanish and it's one of those things because I'm Russian, I can like say like, hola, you know, mi amor, <laughs> mi amor. I can like roll my R's or whatever. And, um, I, I don't sound like American when I do that, I guess, because I can t I can turn off my American accent in like a second, you guys. <laughs> I can sound so Russian if I want to. So rolling the R's and everything helps speaking Spanish. Mm -mm -mm. Guys are all being so sweet. Danzel's watching my stream and producing. Honestly, I do this. So I watch gamers. You guys, if you know me, you know I love The Sims. <laughs> like, play. I don't really play that much because I'm so busy, but I watch people play it all the time. And sometimes I'll be doing like mindless tasks, like what I was just doing, freezing stuff. And I'll just have one of my favorite streamers like on my phone, like leaned against my monitor, just talking, playing. And I feel like I'm hanging out with a friend. <laughs> Seriously, after I did all of this, still, girl. <laughs> Sorry if I yelled. <laughs> I took off my master. It's so annoying, though. Hey, I mean, everything's frozen, girl. What are you doing? There's a couple more divas. Okay, there's an ominous friend and the diva. This is a kind of a curse session, though, because even when Ellie and I were finishing writing yesterday, I was like, why is this so CPU-ish? Why? I don't understand. <laughs> Peyton says, it's awesome to see your workflow. Thank you for showing it. You're so welcome. I'm just hanging out. I am just hanging out with you guys. Rushing to the airport 
to Guadalupe. Oh, that's so cool. Do you have any tips for faster and better workflow? Because I have a lot of demos to finish, but I feel stuck. Mm, okay, so first of all, don't blame yourself if you're slow. Like, if you're a little bit more in, like, the inexperienced starting outside, you're going to be slow. Like, I was so slow. It took me, like, a week to finish a song. And not even a K-pop. K-pop takes a long time for everybody because it, it's just very involved. But even, like, Western-style songs, it would take me so long because I just was questioning myself all the time. I think the key is to get better. And some things you can do is you can basically... Like, one of the things I did a lot is I analyzed songs I liked. Like, I would literally just import a song into Ableton, and I would try to recreate its beat and just, like, analyze how it's made and, like, why it works. Um, yeah, I would take chords from other songs and write my own just to, like, practice and study. I recommend all of those things. But also, just on, like, an organizational side, I recommend keeping notes of all your songs. Should I show you this guy? Is this anything private? I don't think there's anything private in here. Oh, well youtube um there is this like yeah there's this document i have where i keep track of like what i am working on and who i'm working on it with and what stages it's at and i have my own color coding system so highly recommended i mean people there's definitely a thing about people not finishing songs producers girl you will never catch me not finish a song like ever Ever. I never not finish a song. Because I'm like, that's my money. If I don't finish it, it can't be pitched. It can't earn me money. So I'm going to finish it. Sometimes, though, sometimes it takes me a long time. I just finished a song the other day that I started in November. But I will finish it. Okay, well, it's just cursed. Fine. You know what? I'm taking Diva off. Goodbye, girl. <laughs> Goodbye. We've had a nice run, but I'm using serum. <laughs> it's just really not liking me right now. Oh, Peyton says, the way you cranked that recording those harmonies just now has me so inspired. Oh, thank you. It's just experience. I mean, honestly, I wasn't even this good at recording singing like a year ago. It's just being forced to do it like all the time. And I do this type of area recording, these types of backgrounds, like so many times a week that it becomes second nature. It's literally all practice, guys. Don't like, don't be harsh on yourselves. <gasps> I love that. Do I love that? I loved it for seconds, like organy. Do I love it? Let's hear it with the lead. Sort of, but no. <laughs> My first reaction was very positive. No. I hate all that rah, rah, rah stuff, but I love the main. I think this is a good layer and it needs to be detuned too, like to really make sense. Um, I want something else there though. Um, I'm not gonna have time to like low key do this well, guys. I, I can already tell I'm gonna hop off in a second, but just to get something going, because it's like annoying to stop so close to being done with the song. I hate when this happens. This is like my thing that I'm working on. I'm trying not to be such a completionist because I. I will do things that are detrimental to me just to finish things. Like I will stay up very late and then I'll be exhausted the next day in my session because I just want to finish something and it like annoys me that much that it's not finished. But don't be like me. If you have to stop for your health or because you have a commitment, stop. I've been late to things because I didn't want to stop. Like, yeah, and it's very much still going on. I've not conquered this particular challenge <laughs> yet. Cause you're one of a kind so special This actually sounds really pretty. I'm just gonna freeze these. Um we're having all kinds of issues today. <laughs> Have you ever made reggaeton music? So I've made things with like like a little bit of reggaeton flavor in it, but not like full on. I would love to though. I love Latin music. Love it. Could you sing a bit of the chorus of Moody? Oh my god, you're so cute. How does that song go? It's a question for a song. Still got a lot of shit to recover from. Still carry all of the trauma in my bones. I try, but you'll have to forgive me. If I'm not a hundred be Gucci, if I'm still a little bit moody. <laughs> yes, I actually know a little bit of my own song. Proud of myself for that. 
out. Because <laughs> if like a little bit of time passes, guys, I literally don't know my own songs. I'm like, what are the words? I don't know. <laughs> How am I supposed to know? <laughs> Oh, the organy thing? No, don't like. Eh, no. I actually really like that. I know what I'm gonna do. I want to have just shorter, like plucky chords, maybe like a glockenspiel or something. Cause it's very cute and I, well, do we, do we emphasize? No, let's not emphasize the cuteness too much because then it becomes a cute C because the vocal's already really cute. So I think maybe ju juxtaposing it a bit would actually be better. There's actually a song I want to check that I have cut, like what I did in it, but I can't. I can't leak something that's coming out for sure. <laughs> the producer urged to leak things, but you know what? I've gotten in so much trouble for leaking the original version of Mafia. Um, I'm never doing that again. And I did not do that on purpose. That was just me trying to show my work and like, that was bad. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Does that go with everything though? I like that it's a little darker, this little plucky thing, and maybe a little verb on it. Um, aw, you guys are so cute <laughs> that I sing my song. Do you recommend this Avento mic? Yeah, I really recommend it. It's five hundred dollars, four or three hundred on eBay used, and this shit has made me a lot of money. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's the vocals on this sound really good. I am gonna up. I'm gonna buy the really freaking expensive Sony C800 mic because I've wanted one for like seven years. I just couldn't afford it. Still, not. I didn't want to say can't afford it. I don't want to lie, but it wouldn't be wise, like place to put my money to right now because this is so good it's so cheap though i have to buy it buy it but i really want the sony c800 but also you need to buy like a neve preamp or something to make that work or bay like neve imitation or something it's like a fifteen thousand dollar investment all in all so i'm a little bit like mm, i don't know if that's smart at the moment because that's like kind of a lot <laughs> for me <laughs> Something about this is so pretty. I don't know. It's like hardly anything in it, but it's so pretty. <laughs> Ahmed says, Mafi in the morning is awesome. Thank you so much. That song's changed my life. It really did. Um, Ahmed says, I know Taylor Swift recorded her album Red With It and her previous albums too, her country albums. Yeah, it's a great inexpensive mic. Like I always think about the really expensive one I want. Just, it's like a shade better, you know? It's, I can tell and I'm like, oh, so nice, I want. But it's very much like, I just want it. It's like not a necessity like whatsoever. You do not need really expensive gear. You don't at all, at all. What's your favorite song you've produced? I mean, it changes, it's, Mafia's definitely up there, but I love Moody, I know it's not like a popular song, it's just like my song, but it just means a lot to me. I'm definitely very emotional, like as a producer and writer, like if it means a lot to me, I'm definitely like somebody that is gonna just be like, oh, but it's so like, it's mine, you know? <laughs> um, I want, I almost want something weird. Okay, oh, I don't have my phone. Okay, what key is this exactly again? <laughs> Let me just put, Something like some kind of vocals like that is what I want. I mean, I guess I could sing them, but I kind of want it like something sampley B major. Is that what it is? Really? This is B major? I don't know why I was surprised it is B major, but for some reason that surprised me. Um, uh, mm, 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 mm. The 10,000 are mics. The rappers like it because it catches transit square. It's an incredible mic. Like, let's not pull any punches. It's freaking incredible. It's just, it's this difference is so subtle. It's so small. It's like, unless you're just literally dealing in the highest league with the highest league artists, it's not necessary. So, and you know, for me, I don't Woo! cut my K-pop artists. They all record stuff um, in Korea. So... Yes. I don't even 
Like, I don't need that right yeah. now. I do want to buy it for, like, me and Ellie, though, you know? For us to have the highest mm -hmm. level vocals. It was B major, wasn't it? Um, all in due time. All in due time. Real sexy. <laughs> Real sexy. <laughs> this is cool. I love Oscar Flood. They're really cool. Um... Um. Oh, I love that. Just needs to go somewhere. Where am I hearing this exactly? Da da da. That's what I hear this being. Uh. Da da da. Ah, it's just okay. I need some melodyne. I'll do it fine. Da da da. Da da da. It's like more of a pain to melodyne, but it's definitely like the best way to do it. Let me just make sure exactly again. Da da da. La da la 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 la. Don't forget, don't forget the note, don't forget it. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Are you gonna pull one of these freaking things on me? Oh, okay, let me do polyphonic. Um, da da da. da. Uh, is it A, I guess, or is it G sharp? This is weird. This is not like it should have worked in the other mode, but it didn't. Sometimes Melodyne, yeah, it's not. It doesn't work. Ooh, I don't know if this is actually gonna work. And, uh, 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 I'm too lazy for this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was like, this looks like so much work. No, well, let me just try to just do it by hand. It probably I would need to hide it with verb, but it's fine. Da, 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 ah, come on. Uh, da, 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 da. Or ba, ba. Ooh, that transitional note so fast. Da, da. Is it just minus five the whole thing? Where's it minus five? I think the whole thing's just minus five. I was fucking around for no reason. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, this, this is how I know I'm tired. Is when I spend that much time to figure out I just need to go minus five. Whew. That's cool. I like that. Just a little reverse and repeat it. Okay, and then I just need it to kind of pan around a little bit. And then I do need to go. I need to go. I need to go see my friend. Uh, <laughs> see, the completionist in me is making excuses to stay and finish this. Don't be like me. Oh no, webcam's chat is back. <laughs> Um, hide user. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, all right. I am gonna stop, guys, because there's this still needs a lot of work production wise, and I don't have the time. So, but um, I had an amazing time. This is my longest stream I've ever done three hours. I feel like a real like. <laughs> YouTuber person. <laughs> I don't think of myself as one. I'm just like, oh, I'm just like a producer that has a YouTube, but this makes me feel like a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, K-pop filter says, Alina, can I please be a moderator? Um, yeah. Can you DM me like on Instagram and tell me how that works <laughs> yet again? Not actually a real YouTuber. Don't actually know how it works, but yeah, I would love some help because I don't like know about this. <laughs> um, Okay, I'm just gonna play this song one more time for everybody just so we can like have fun to it. Um, and then I'm gonna hop off.
really gotten to that part yet. I wanted to like do a little more production on this. <laughs> Better transition into this verse. Okay, I think it sounds so good. I need just like literally maybe two more hours, three more hours with this track on my own without streaming and talking. <laughs> and it will be done. I'm excited. Um, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. This was a really fun stream for me. I hope it was fun for you. I see a lot of love. I see a lot of... Um, awesome comments. Thank you so much for being so sweet. Stay kind, stay awesome. And 